Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today. I hope we're all prepped and prepared for some more Xenoblade 3 because I most certainly am. So, today we are hopefully going to be uh, doing some more side quests as well as, or I say hero quests, not side quests. Um, although I guess side quests are hero quests, they're just special hero quests. Um, doing hero quests as well as um uh as well as uh whatchamacallit whatchamacallit uh, the main story because last stream was all hero quests which basically took a bit of time and yeah that was about it um i'm here i'm just gonna talk to her this is a different side quest but i just want to get it on my thing uh, there you are, because I was, I was meaning to do this today, but I, you know, I decided not to, um, do, like, side quests on my own time today, because I didn't want, because I knew that this stream was going to be, like, a little bit of a longer stream, uh, so I didn't want to tie myself out on Xenoblade early. Machine run, how you're done, shoot you passed away, you don't have to worry about me, it's hard, but I'm doing fine now. Uh, you're strong, I think I understood everything you wanted to pass on, doing my best to keep his legacy alive. After he came back with us, we had a long chat, just the two of us, talked about a lot of stuff, we looked really content. So thanks for everything you did. No, we hardly did anything. You died peacefully, then that was all you were doing. It made me worry about Calum Lambda a bit. Worry, how's that? 
Uh, we're a well-regulated colony, but it takes time and effort to put in requests and get permission for anything you want to do. You seem to be uneasy about how so much that slows everything down. I understand, you know, those are the man to keep the colony running well enough, but the colony's combination of talent, adventure, and strong leadership is what led to the top of the rankings. Listen, I got that everything takes an age to get done, but listen. Got a second Marine. Pay me a visit, must be important. That same card doesn't mean we have to be best friends. Sure, so what's going on? Agnes Force is approaching Colony Lambda. We don't have concrete numbers, but the sensors haven't registered anything. They're still probably coming by air. So a recon team headed by Captain Rosh, so we're hoping to intercept them soon. That's not great. Not at all. Quite a bit worse, in fact, given how half the colony is still being rebuilt. We're mobilizing everyone. You too, Moraine. I'll be there. In that case, we'll come too. That'd be appreciated. I have more squads to talk to, so go to the captain. He'll send you where you're needed. Yeah, so this is just a other side quest. Um, not really planning on uh, doing it right now. Um, so what I have right now is uh, this squad with uh, all these people. Um, and I do still have the list of other hero quests that I think I can do as of this point. Um, which include various hero quests as well as Lands' uh, hero quest. Um, now, whether or not I uh, go do them is a question uh, that I will have to answer eventually. However, what I want to do for right now is uh, at least go progress the main story quest just a little bit because I have a feeling the main story quest will be something that um, uh, will be something that gets me like new areas to look around and maybe even more quests in that way. So I want to make sure that I go do them. And yeah, because I mean, it's getting to the point where I either just stay doing hero quests for entire streams, which is probably going to happen, at least as we seemingly approach uh, near to the end of the game, or uh, I just focus on hero, or I kind of intersperse them. I'd rather intersperse main story and hero quests um, just so I can have a little bit more variance in my team as I progress through the story, because if I don't do the hero quests, all the classes that I have will be maxed out and there'd be no reason for me to equip them again. Looks like I don't want that. I would like to continue using them because I think that would probably be fun. Like the Incursor class. I can use this again now because I have um, uh, because I have bothered to um, whatchamacallit to swap up my uh, my squad. Now I'm doing this because it's just free Nopon coins, and those are going to be pretty important for me just going forward, honestly. Because if I don't get more Nopon coins, I have a feeling I'm not going to really get to max out a lot of my classes. Um, because the amount of enemies that I can really fight to get CP with is you know, decreasing as I level up. Uh, there are essentially less enemies that are high level in various uh, game areas. And the only way to really level up my classes is to kill things that are at or above my level. If only slightly below, but they might be unique or uh, named enemies. So, that's the situation in which it might be... Hey, Fontana! That's the situation in which it might be worth it to, um, you know, continue grinding on them, but until until then... Uh, bison, 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 yes, yes. Fontana, Fontana, Fontana. How's it going, my man? Hope you're doing well. Yo, yo, dude, you got all the blades. Nice. 
Uh, so did you get all the blades and do their side quests or were you just focusing on getting the blades and then now you're just gonna go do all the side quests? Well, do, to unlock the side quests, don't you have to usually like like unlock uh, a few of the blades nodes? Dollars was this one and Alma was this happening? Nice. Yeah, that, that was something that I never wanted to try and do just because it's so, it, there's so many blades. It almost took 33 minutes. Hey man, but at least you had a grinding spot to make it so that you didn't have to like, cause like, if you didn't grind out the cores, right? Like imagine how long, how much longer it would have taken. Um, but yeah, so my plan today, advance the story a bit, do a, do a hero quest, advance the story a bit, do a hero quest. Kind of back and forth that way as I go forward. Um, but eventually, uh, I think, uh, between streams, I'm just gonna have to look up ways, if if there are ways, uh, I have to imagine that there are, to just grind out, um, uh, to grind out, um, uh, whatchamacallums, uh, levels in the, uh, Levels in like silver no pawn coins. That way I can just use those to level up my classes. Because as I'm rapidly approaching, quote unquote, rapidly approaching the game, I probably have like 20 more hours if the game keeps up. I estimate that was at least like 300 legendary cores. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, most of the heart two quests require like third. Four. Ah, okay, okay. So you still got a bit to go to get all the quests done, but at least you're getting the. Uh, at least you're getting the characters. Um, and now, now that I've seen the Nintendo Direct where it's like, hey, here are the DLC classes, that may, it makes a bit more sense as to why there are empty slots at the bottom of this screen. So I'm presuming that by the end of however many waves of DLC there are, this screen will have all of it uh, like present if you have all the DLC. Whereas base game it only leads up to here. Um, which I guess makes sense, but is also a little bit irking that it's like, well, unless you got the DLC, then oh well. And I do know that there are two post-game classes as well, so I have to beat the game to even unlock those. So that means that there are what, uh, is there, because first wave of DLC didn't have any bonus classes, the second wave does, and it was like the Noponic thing or whatever. Um, so that makes me think that third and fourth wave will each have um, hero classes to have this thing filled up. And worst case, I can turbo and stand in front of a shop. Yeah. <laughs> um, but okay. So at some point, I'll probably have to figure out a way to grind silver no pawn coins and or just good CP and um, get classes max like that. Because I'm hoping that by the end of the game, I'll have enough classes unlocked with enough people to be able to be like, okay, here's how I want Noah to be, and I want Mio to be, and I want Uni and Lan. Like, here's how I want each of my individual characters built. Because as of right now, each of my characters is kind of just built in a very generalized way where it's like, okay, these are just, these are generally good gems to have on a heal class, and generally good items to have on a heal class, and generally good skills. Like, they're not very specified. It's not like, oh, Noah's this support-esque thing where it's like, oh yeah, I'm ha I have them on this class for these skills with these specific items to synergize and these gems to synergize. It's just, these are generally good. I'm going to use them until he maxes out the class in it, and then I'm just going to be switching them off anyway. Um, so I'm hoping by the time I get to like the final dungeon per se, I'll have essentially classes that I'm comfortable with builds to just kind of put me through the rest. That way it feels more like I'm mastering my party rather than just pushing forward with uh, trying to max out classes even up to the end of the game. Yo, it's a big sword. It's a big cool red sword. So I just pulled it free. Noah mean lucky seven? Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before Paul free, Mobius' power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Okay. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? 
the will of the wielder. If understand, then why ask? Because it's just weird. Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how does common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Master Pond to keep safe. And who is your Master Pond? Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? <laughs> it's so weird to think that in the Japanese say dub, that no, Riku good. as an Opon we'll still has like you. a more typical yeah, Nopon voice by that wording. of it be like high pitched. Don't worry. I think I get it now. When I'm like, oh, this oh. Riku, this deep voice Riku, love it. <laughs> Makes more sense to me in my head. Nonetheless, oh, yeah, push ups. Lucky seven is something we'll have to oh, cherish tea. as we go on. Cook him. Riku, thanks a lot. This truly is our Xenoblade Chronicles 3. <laughs> so, qu question to you guys. When you get electronics, do you immediately pull off the plastic film from things? Like a monitor or a TV? Like from, like, the edge? Um, oh, look at this. Because I got the, um... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Is that Kamarabi? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Usually, because I got this Switch Pro controller, and I've still yet to like peel off the wrap. But usually, Marvelous. I would. <laughs> but Death I just haven't thought of it. A sign of hesitation. The footwork, remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee, Miyabi. Woken. My most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays. Oh. Okay. Oh, whoa, yo! Okay. So... She... So, Miyabi... So, it seems like it's a similar thing to Yorin, where they took a dead person and turned them into a Mobius or a Mobius-like prospect. And they have the ability to control people. So they're controlling a rezzed Kamaravi and seemingly a rezzed, um, I think the two people that got killed by the first Mobius that we saw. Um, I forget their names. But, oh well. So Gnome Tech? Uh, Gnome Tech. I am not exactly clear what that means. Because... Is that is that like gnome from D and D or gnome from WoW? Because I'm not exactly sure. CS three. Okay, yeah. So there's three different kinds of gnomes. Um, kinda. Yeah, yeah, kinda. Although I've always taken the gnome tech to be more of like a brainwashing kind of thing, where it's like, oh, like we're talking about like Copper Georg here, where it's like, uh. Because wasn't it, like, more the the curse that forced people to do stuff? And, like, the the gnome one was more just, like, memory manipulation? Or, like, memory hiding, for the most part? Where it was like, oh, we'll seal away your memories. And then when we unseal them, you'll be like, oh, this is actually who I was. Um, damn. Okay, so now we are, we are now in the JRPG obligatory snow area. Which... I think I talked about this before, but I think snow areas, Capricorn Peak, snow areas are some of my favorite places in JRPGs, just because you get to see how different they get to portray ice and natural ice formation. I mean, I guess Siegfried died but came back because of the curse. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this seems to, like, in terms of the different, this seems to be a, a very much more direct control. Um, where it's like, oh yeah, I'm just taking over your body. Okay, so now we're getting back to some early Neo train. Damn, she just hurdled that shit. Dude, fucking, she, no need to climb. Okay. Whoa, nice one, Mimi. Ooh, 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 just, ooh, ooh, you, balancing, balancing. Ooh. Can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi. Shouldn't have slacked in basic. Twenty laps to the colony. 
and pick up the pace. I don't think 20 laps of the colony will improve balance. If I'm being completely honest. In fact, it would most likely just make you but worse Ophia, at balancing. Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings in all the training categories. It's done. But sir... Enter. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official colony theta officers. Theta, not theta. Okay, seems like a guy. Casting the van, van of Derek on up. Shiny Understand. Stay. Nice. Good stream. Thank you very final. much. Yeah. See ya <sighs> later. But yeah, the this stream will have just like uh quite a few cutscenes. Because I'm doing main quests and hero quests, which are also cutscene heavy. Um, and what I consider so main story adjacent. Mm, I guess. So you can play it. More or less. That's so cool. And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying. But I'm struggling a bit with the start of the 12th bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We'll play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You, you're right, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Well then, I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. Okay, so Mia's a, Mia didn't want to be an off-seer, seer, and she's a bit pissy about it. Because she didn't get a choice. She was just like, nope, you're you're an officer. And it's like, well, fuck. But this is also presumably like Shut early down, on. Yeah. Like what would that be? Like third or fourth term? Right? Because how 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 many terms do they have in like the that like adolescent teen state, right? Like probably one or two terms. And then by, like, third or fourth term, they're, like, doing that kind of official training. Ah, oh, okay, here, quest side story, Mio. And... Change of plans. Yeah, Change so of plans. This, is, this is the main story to do her hero quest. So that's good. I like that. I can't even call this it's like, hey, th this character is a tad more important than the other characters. Thank you. Topple. And now we're in a new area, so the, uh, so the, uh, so the enemies now have the chance to drop things they haven't got before. So I want to make sure I get them. Uh, like Ares fur? I don't know what Ares fur is. I've never seen Ares fur. But I need to kill them so that I can have a store of them in case... I ever find them. Now, I do worry that, uh, like, the random items on the ground will be a bit more, um, uh, will be a bit more difficult to place due to them being a bright color, like a bright shade that's usually, like, whitish blue, and now it's on a white ground with a lot of, like, shadows that are blue. <laughs> Go, get you out. Yeah. Cursor just does so much damage. It's lovely. She's the Goyal with the Gal. The Goyal. The Goidal. The outcome is patently clear. Okay. Okay. Five thousand. Uh, I do need to check um, his things because I can't remember if he has the gems that make it more likely to double hit. Because that's really good with the Incursor. It does. Okay, 25% chance. Because uh, it just didn't feel like I was getting all that many double hits, which is why. Is this place 
It looks a lot more inhospitable than I'd imagine. Uh, okay, so can't go that way. Have to go this way. Head for Colony Omega. It's vital to keep a record Omega. Omegle. I can't even call this practice. Show us what you've got. <laughs> no fight for you. You must enter this cutscene. Sad breath. And now we're wearing eye patches again. Because now we're in main story quest. not look any kind of uh happy or satisfied playing that flute <clears throat> it's interesting that they're able to have the music hey. going Nadia. from the cutscene through the loading Tuning? screen yeah got another battle tomorrow bit of a waste uh. and you're such a slick fighter too I can't believe they paired you with that klutz Miabi. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> At least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. <clears throat> Nadia, we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Mission cool. briefing? Right there. Later! Mission briefing. Mission briefing. Mission briefing. There we go. Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. Yay. To be fair, we scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? I still find it so interesting how playing a tune on a flute like physically makes the the plumes go up or the motes go up plumes or feathers the motes go up like I'm um, to me it's so interesting that that is like a like an this is all active thing such a waste what is everyone else is out collecting life and here we are, noodling our tunes. Noodling. What use are we really? To the colony and everyone. I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... After death, is all. After death, though. Isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here. And nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is. Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an officer? For a commendation? No, it's just... duty. You know... I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be scared of that? It is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to... We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mio, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? Same as ours. On the other side, 
the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. So she's already touching on the idea of we don't live to fight, we fight to live. Which is a very important distinction for all people in this game to get across, right? Because the longer they li uh, remain in the live to fight mentality instead of the fight to live, the more willing they are to... Goodbye. Uh, well... I don't even want to say the more willing, the more Thank stuck you. in their way, right? Like every day that you do something Descend that reinforces the, the idea the departed, is another day is that becomes purpose. harder to break it afterwards. It's not a waste at all. So long as those voices speak to you. Voices. Thanks, guys. You're welcome, child. You're welcome, my child. And it is very, it's a lot more interesting because, because Agnes does it in pairs instead of just ones it has a much different tune than when Noah at the start of the game was just doing it himself or whenever Mio just does it herself the two people playing the song at the same time definitely gives a much different feel god you gotta say like the 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 dirt or rust texture on it does not look all that great like, from a distance, yeah, but, like, close up does not look all that amazing. <laughs> but what you gonna do? Nothing. You can't do anything. You dumb little bastard. The outcome is patently clear. Shaking colonists with a knee on the job. Come here! I got something for you! Appreciate it. This Jarek Wolf. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gal. Oh yeah, she's the Goya with the gal. Uh, is there anything of use up here? No. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. But let's just check the area map. So we got quest related event here, quest related event. Okay, so we got a couple quests here. Now what they might actually relate to, I don't know. Sweet. Let's poke around. Now the interesting thing is I don't actually know how much how many more areas right of the game in terms of great big wide exploration that there are left. There could only be a few left and I don't know. Or this could be the last one in terms of like big exploration because there's still probably a couple dungeons for like whatever this, this um, chapter like has us do. Um, but other than that, like, because right, like, it's chapter six, there's probably gonna be a final dungeon for this, and then chapter seven, um, I just add chapter six to the stream title. It's vital but to if keep I a were, if I were more rememberful, I would change that during the countdown of the stream, but I usually forget because my memory is bad. 
Um, and the drop from there to there is very high, and chances are I would not survive it. As such, I will not try it. No need to try my hand. Okay. Bam. So I'm going to try to crap a couple things around here, and then I'm going to try and take out that unique one over there, because right now I have... Uh, me, uh, Senna with Soul Hacker on. So I'll be able to Soul Hack whatever that thing is. This is the West Ridge, right? mm. And it's one of those things where I don't know if I'm going to get all of the Soul Hacker's abilities. But what I do know is that it's just useful to kill them whenever possible because it nets you a fast travel. Which, by itself, is already a pretty damn good reward. Right? Like, even if you said, oh yeah, you're not going to be getting a special move from killing this enemy with a certain uh, bonus uh, thing, right? It would still be... It would still be something that I would want to do anyway. Which is the sign of a good, uh, I would say, good game design. Right, where it's like, oh, me fighting, me doing this game, essentially, or me doing this activity that this game has is still worth it, regardless of, like, a whole bunch of other factors, right? Like, if it's, if there's only one singular benefit to engaging with one system of a game, and that one benefit is not good enough to warrant always doing the side activity when given the opportunity, then I would say it is not that great of a side activity or a, or a, or a reward, right? It, you need to improve it so that your players always feel engaged and desire to... Uh, and desire to... Uh, I do this. This, this is just easier. No, yeah, the thing is, it seems like enemies have a tendency to prefer focusing on uh, non-interlinked characters over interlinked characters, at least as soon as you switch them. Because I think they have to basically rebuild up, um, uh, I think they have to rebuild up, um, uh, aggro when you change interlink, so it makes it a lot easier for enemies to switch. Okay, here we go, put that down. This, that, that, that. Should be doing fine. Okay, doing this, chant tag right at the end. This is damn near guaranteed to be a multi TP by when the first line it makes all attacks critical. Sounds good. Boom, overkill. Got it. You had to have been at like a hundred or a thousand health. Like I did. Did that perfectly. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do a heal, make sure we don't go over, and then we can finish out with a, a shield. Because that will guarantee whoever had the most DP will go get recharged. Now, I do wish you could speed these up. Or at least shorten them. But, oh well. Back in action. Uh, let's do her. Side break. 
five. One, one by herself, okay. Didn't want to do that all in one, but it's generally fine that I did because she also got reactivated, so we'll take those. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't get... Um, yeah, so I got I got to do... Um, unfortunately, we didn't get Alexandria as a... Um, as a helper, so I do just have to go forward with not that. Um, I don't think this shouldn't do like 50 something for being real. So I can just continue with this and that. So now I'm just trying to get XP bonus up as much as possible because it is level 56. So it shouldn't give me all that much, but it's also unique. So whatever I get will be multiplied by the multiplication, like the general unique monster multiplication bonus. So it could potentially be worth it, even though it's so much lower level than me. There is that potential. Okay. So now we want to do spit beam. And the thing is, I don't remember, like, I, I wish it was a lot uh, more easily tracked. I don't know what, uh, what moves the soul hackers are using that have, like, full, like, I don't know what ones still need to be leveled up. Because there's no good indication of that, um. Uh, of that information, which kind of sucks, but there's not much I can really do other than go in manually and check every single one and, like, note them down, which I don't want to do. Because that doesn't sound very fun to me. Look at all that damage. But I will say, regardless of you know, whether or not I think it's taking too long to do a lot of these, it still always just looks so cool. Okay, so 920, 484, soul hacked, enemy skill, grace of the land, and got 216 CP. All right, like that's the big thing that I did the um, chain order for. Now, I do want to check this skill, grace of the land, reduces damage taken by allies in a fixed radius by 20%. That's good. Uh, boost recharge speed when by 20% when on land. Honestly, what one do I have boost damage based on uh, time dealt? Um, boost damage dealt by 20 but reduce max HP boost damage by 15% for every enemy in battle. Get that out of here. We're gonna do, we're gonna do that. Um, Cause that, that's just better. That That is just straight up better as a, uh, uh, as a as a thing, like it's there, there's no question. Okay, healing mass yeah, from behind. Yeah. Okay, item at. Okay, but now I have taken out that special enemy, so I can just kind of move forward as I desired to. Uh, what are you? 49 hitter mine. Always, uh, always go for the no pong coins, because you always get so much XP and bonus XP anyway. Right, that's not, it's not hard to build it up, and no pong coins are a more limited resource. Like, you can get them multiple times, like, there are sources of them, but usually it's, like, unique named enemies that drop them. <laughs> so they're more of a pain in the derriere to get uh, and to deal with. Okay, you know what, while I'm here, ow, my knees... Well, I'm here. Might as well get these. Because <laughs> they're here. 
Time for the officers to play their part. Yep. Yep, come on, turn them off. Twiddly lily. But it is convenient that the Kabesi and Agnian uh, flutes are near identical, right? In terms of uh, make and model, as it were. Because it's like, oh yeah, if they were different, then that would F up Noah and Mio's ability to use each other's flutes uh, as they do. Now, does it make sense? Yes, because chances are the Mobius are the ones that introduced that system. Uh, so, the, the, because they were the ones that introduced the system, and they control both sides of the war, essentially, makes sense that it was just like, oh yeah, chances are they're both created in like one area and just differently colored for being absolutely honest. <laughs> Cold, I might fall over. Well, don't. <sighs> Should we take a breather? Uh, so this is like this is almost like the opposite of where the uh, like when they got to the desert, right? Where Mio was like falling over because she was overheating because she's like uh, she's like more cat like, and now it's like, oh, Uni is a bird, and it's like, I'm really cold. This sucks. Sounds good. <laughs> the cold of the highlands is no joke. It would definitely be a good idea to rest up. How about that spot over there? Oh my god, there's already a fire there. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. It's oh, already I'm freezing. Mio, aren't you cold? This is still bearable for me. I guess you hate the cold, Uni? Yeah, so it's like, oh yeah, Uni hates the cold, Mio is fine with it, but she also retains, that's because she retains heat, which is why the desert was not so great for her, but it was bearable for Uni. Might as well claim this. Which, I, li I like that consistency, where it's like, oh yeah, no, <laughs> Mio was is extremely warm, and therefore cold is not like the worst. Oh, I like how I can see down over there. I don't know if I'm going towards that area or if that's kind of where I've already been, but I like how I can see down, not into the, uh, not into the thing. So sorry we're not to stay here, but surely end up dead snow pawn out in chilly cold. Meh, fluffy no pawn not weak against cold. Fluff, fur, and feathers keep out chill. Snow. It's snowing. Mo mama. Gone by a show show to give you a stone when you take a back stone. Oh, stone is lost. Oh, what? Oh, I was sleeping in a tall tree and I fall down and never be seen again. Friends can tell this to show show. We can't, but it's okay to go without taking a stone back. Oh, yeah, so it's okay. Show show is majorly serious no pun, so probably she angry. Oh, well. All right, we'll just go tell her. We have some new names registered. <laughs> My mama does not care. I might get just up ahead. Mama stopped by hoping to make sales of goods, but touching no one play ball. So that's that state of affairs. Best buy only what we okay. Cruise major. Or aggro major. I'll buy one of those. Champion, when attack is evaded, increases attacker's aggro toward user. Okay. Metallic knee guard. Top loader doesn't boost block rate by 40% when HP. Eh, no, boost my HP here. Here, eh. Storm. Boost evasion by 20% while art is active. Strike bangle. Boost damage dealt when attacking around the front. Uh, so attack band physical by 10% percentage point. Yeah. The aggro one is the only kind of useful one there, I would say. Because having just it's a tank with an a item that boosts aggro, so like just generates me. aggro passively, very good item. So now let's stop and sit at this camp. I the need to check so the gems, noise. see if I got any new stuff for them. Yes, I did. So that's increased Finish. attack by 45. That's pretty good. Um, and I need, yeah, we're getting to the part where it's like, oh yeah, you need a lot of stuff. Sure, not our attack interval, by okay. Nothing Boost specific. that, please and thank you. Nepedia, or er, Nepedia Launcher, Varga Razor Horn. Okay. Nothing 
in there. Yeah, gotten some of them, but I need. Yeah, mo most of the, like the unique ones need two uh, or three. So if I only have one, it's not really worth it. I'm eager to run some tests. I'm eager to run some tests. Uh, okay, cook. It's not real. Uh, Manaz Balsu DX. Damn, okay. XP boost, CP boost, enemy drop boost versus... Okay. So it still uses about the same stuff, but instead of Bunnet Meat, it uses Transcendent Tenderloin, which seems a lot more rare. However, you are getting a big XP boost, big CP boost, and bigger drop boost. Um... Then we got CP boost. That one's good CP. That, like, that would be good for grinding out CP. Um... Like, there are just so many where it's like, okay, you know what? Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't always have something active, which is why I'm glad that, like, as you go through the Game of Nas Battle Soup is, uh, like, pretty, pretty cheap, if we're being real, uh, as well as other ones. Um, enemy drop boost, collectibles, like, these, not too bad. Like, I'm gonna cook this, because it's, one, it's active for more than an hour. Uh, active gameplay time as well, and I am just like in menus. Um, so I'm doing this because I'm hoping to get more drops and more collectibles, uh, such that I will be able to make more gems if I just randomly come across the enemies that drop them or what have you. Now, for bonus XP, I'm currently at level 67. I could be at level 81, as I said, holding off until level 99. Uh, or at least until I can get my characters to level 99, at which point uh, the uh, at which point the things will not be all that useful anymore. Uh, and this is the one for lands, so uh, I'm not going to do that right now. It's best we talk because I want to do Mio's, and then maybe I'll go do Lanz's, or I'll do someone else's. That way, it's not just only main character group. It's not so pretty. I love it so much. Yeah, no, it's cool. It'll give your freeze your ass off. Uh, give me a sunny beach and you die. Yeah, especially given her uh, uh, her swimsuit. <laughs> really? I'm much before it to the heat myself. Yeah, because you hate nice things, isn't it? Remember when you all, oh, it's so hot. I melt into a pancake. I said no such thing. Oh yeah, I distinctly remember it. No more. Someone kill me now. I did not. Um, oh, that's right. Now I remember. When you're feeling cold, you have to try and move your body. Nope. Uh uh. No way. I've oh, already gone on the defensive. I'll stay bundled up, thanks. Come on, just shout yourself warm. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was. I suppose Mio could just yell herself cool, huh? I just struggle with the heat, alright? Honestly, you're very true, love. I'll never hear the end of this, will I? Uh, no. What's this all about? Beats me. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm fine with both. I don't really get it. Couldn't tell you. So let's progress the main story a bit. Ooh. And see. Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? Sure, Omega. I've had glimpses when we interlink. But what does it all mean? Right. I'll try. <laughs> Bad shit happened. Sana, is that okay? Stuff blew up. May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day, with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Interesting. Then one day, there was a... 
an accident. <laughs> he just teleported out like an a-hole. Absolute Chad right here. Mio, take this. I'm giving you my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Miyabi. Thank you. I'm gonna be honest. A escape pods that you can only launch from the outside. Kind terrible design. Right? Like if you're not it like if you can't be in the pod and launch it. That's a bad design, in my opinion. <laughs> right? Because it should have been like, oh yeah, me out again there as well. To close that door. Bloop. Oh yeah, all three of us. Cool. Now I understand that you need to push the narrative for it, but in terms of like, you know, technological design and incompetent mechanicry. I couldn't do a thing. I wasn't any use. None at all. Senna. Miyabi was a hero. Oh. All that an officer ought to be. She put it in here. And she gave it to me. And I gave it to Noah. Truly a... hero. I decided. I'll find it for myself. I'll leave my mark. On others and the world. This lifetime that Miyabi gave to me. I'll use it well. Okay. Damn. So Mio is almost like like I find it interesting how different characters have different like similarities in foils to other characters Regret in the group. all you want. Um, but the past can never be changed. But Mio's backstory but is You can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Mio's backstory is sim more similar to Lance's than anyone think else, that? I think. Not at all. Yeah. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So, yeah. I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah. Our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They got up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now! Don't go lumping me in with Lance! I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> You're just as dumb as the rest of us. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnion, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was... Performing some kind of experiment there. Interesting. Using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. 
All I can remember is that oddly glowing violet flame clock. Okay. Doing something with the light. That doesn't energy. fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Why has restored it now? Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M. Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence, the tests, it was all why. That's just the Mobius he is. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Do share. Mimi, remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Kamaravi's Veronicus? <sighs> I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Okay. Really? So, the purple flame cock might have something to do with. Ethel and Kamaravi like, had their lives taken. Super flame or something? So were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to a soldier. Maybe like violet life and energy is just back, capable of killing people. You're thinking Miyavi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toys with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Yeah, we're all going. Right? Yeah. You're not leaving anyone Obviously. out here. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega. Omega. No one wants to say Omega. It's always Omega. Everyone, thank you. Yeah, no problem, This girl. time, I'll do the saving. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice violet flame clock. The brilliance doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have a bitten apace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, many lost sight of the fifth thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. Dude speaking in Shakespeare. There he is, I can speak in you, people. What the fuck? The brilliance of life is exigent. More dazzling than now. If we wish to save the world. Yeah, save the world. Okay. Weird. Obviously. Some weird stuff going on between the Mobius and the not Mobius. Or in Miyabi. Or whoever that may be. Uh, okay. The new colony Omega is somewhere around here, right? <laughs> Glare all you want. Sagittarius. Come here. I got something for you. Appreciate it. Go! Sideways! No more! Let's go! go. Demolish the hell out of this thing. Shouldn't be too bad. Or shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, boom. That one out. Gotta love all the damage I can do. Gotta love. How many people I can kill? Gotta love how easy it is to demolish everyone in my path. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. We have superiority. Okay, and slash slash. Oh, oh, oh. 
go. Go, boom. Seven CP. Definitely. Not the most worth it for the time. Good thing we found this. But while I'm here. Yeah, I think in the off time when I was exploring the ocean, I found a a Pharanus, so that automatically meant, meant, oh yeah, need to use a whole bunch of either cylinders, which is welcome. We do like to see uh, either cylinder use because we've gotten to a point where we're not using them nearly as much as I thought we would be, no which way. is... Like, which is nice. However, it's also kind of a slight, um, I don't want to say disappointment, but it does make it so that there is more ether recovery points or retrieval points than, um, then I feel like there don't, uh, I don't want to say necessarily need to be. Here's what we can do. Okay. Yeah, this is why we use... This is why we use Bounding End, as it's just big AoE and a whole bunch of damage. It's lovely. Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit. Ah, yeah. But that's just not possible. Yeah, Vessi and Agnes. Possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Mio said, then they've been running an experiment out of Omega. These soldiers are evidently one of the results. Omega. Oh Kevis and Agnes. What kind of experiment could involve both of them? It's a great question. I don't know. Trying to replicate Interlink, maybe? I do know. The answer lies ahead. Right, because they said like the big power of it is when Kevesi and Agnian soldiers work together. So that's presumably why the Mobius Try, uh, did their utmost to always have them kind of be More colonies uh, added. interfighting such that they would never work together unless it were in very extreme or odd circumstances such that the, our party members found themselves in and thereby preventing the uh, uh, whatever power that, that does create. It's not exactly clearly stated. Bam, bam. Yeah, I have so much like Kavesi armor and other things. That it's just like, oh yeah, no, we're um we're just going to auto-sell anything. Like, most of the things that I pick up from these enemies, and, or this enemy type, I feel like I'm just going to be auto-selling at, like, at a point. Because, like, I'm not gonna wear the soldier's armor, and there's no real easy way to just get rid of all of it. And I don't need to, right? I don't need to sell anything. I have so much gold that it's next to pointless for me to even think about selling things. It's like, why would I bother to sell things, waste that time, when I don't need the money? Which I would say is one of the... One of the biggest things that I feel like they could have found different ways to incorporate, where it's like, there aren't nearly enough things that are worth it to spend money on. If I were able to... Like, an exchange rate, like, I'm not sure what exchange rate, of, like, make gold into silver Nopon coins, boom, that would, like, solve all my issues. However, it's not that way. Like, 
the most valuable thing that I think I can actually spend money on is um, is ether symbols at certain traders. Look at all that damage, dude. Okay. That should be pretty good. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I just need to know it interlink and delete the encounter. Easy as pie. Yo. That's his name, Wamba. Hacked. Yeah, hacked. We, he was They've kind of nothing. Reborn? No, if that was the case, wouldn't they be way younger? Hmm. Wamba looks like he did this term. Wamba, it's me, Lans. Yeah. You know me. Stop it, Wamba. There's Kamarabi. Hey, Mr. Light, how's it going, my man? Cool fire guy back from the dead. How's it and going? Kamaravi. How's it going, What's fella? Going on? God, his his he's so cool. <laughs> like I, I just love like the arm guard for him with like fire plumes coming in. Like all it does is remind me of like like certain like I remember back in the day wow um because my brother used to play like he would have like these I think specifically like warlock gear like warlock gear was super edgy and some of like the shoulder pauldrons looked super cool with like fire coming out of them or like so that's like or like why? the cape would have like a freaking black yeah, hole behind you it's me. Like, yeah I mean it's Friday I didn't have um I didn't have work today um so I was like you know what I'm I'm free right now and if I do a four-hour stream and start at five, the then I end by nine and have a couple no hours game. afterwards to do as Only I want. Or to fight tooth and nail I can. Uh... Normally, Ooh, they would good. undergo basic Disgusting. conditioning in a cradle. Uh, or I can go even further than four hours. As Not sure. Once did. But yeah, the stream, playing on advancing the main story a bit more, and then doing some more hero they would quests. Fight for ten years before returning to her majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away, it is a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Okay. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Tie on his pissed. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. Can I kill you? Please. Why are you doing this? Why What's your goal? Why, why are you being an ass? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed's humble desire. Zed. Zed. Zed's humble desire. Yeah. Big strong Mobius Zed leader guy. Who wove the fabric of this world? Consequently, he is God. We who are his avatars enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars. The gift I was in the last airbender is the creation of flame clocks. Oh, he makes them. Must clocks. I say more? I hold the life of every soldier <coughs> in the very palm of my hand. So if we kill you, no more flame clocks can be made. Except Indeed, presumably by Zed. Clocks. They are part of my very being. Ethel and Kamaravi's flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Dude, that fight was sick. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow. Were you not entertained? 
Can you like tilt your head down a little bit? I don't want to be looking up your nose every time we pan over to Then you. did it strike me. Like unto a flame. Human life but also does like glow and glimmer right brighter. Right talking just about our feelings made strong. Quenched. And hence. It's not like our feelings that make us strong, it's our feelings that make us people. And us Indeed. being people breathes this strength. Flock is therefore my proudest creation. The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamarabi. You brought them back close to their homecoming. Uh huh. Why? So. This is all kinds of so instead of bring, I've never met anyone I instead of reborning them in term one, he reborn them in term nine, or even later, like to like nine and nine and eleven months. <laughs> A blur. He's mad. Come, come. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This ain't this kind of game. Look on the brilliance of your lives. Here, anon. Anon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Shakespeare. He just pieced the hell out. Okay. Fight. Keep your attack okay. focused. We're gonna focus because we don't want to spread it too far. Okay, so hacks, and he's a, he's an aggro one. Okay, 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 give me... Go, that. Slash. Okay, we're gonna do this, because I'm to just rock out with Noah and Neo. They are, they are just the best. Or at least, the, I don't want to say that they're the best interlink, but they're my favorite one to use. Just because of how much damage they put out. Like, it is bonkers how much. Like, it, I, think, I think it's by and far, like, the best one for dealing with even singular enemy. Like, like they are just good in both singular and, like, crowd control. Like, it, it, be, it feels like nigh unfair with how effective they are in all situations. And of course, in this particular situation, it's uh, it's more my level than anything that's really helping myself. Because these guys, like, I'm so far above their level <laughs> that it is, it is comical. However, that doesn't be, uh, belie the fact that the Noah interlink just does crap tons of damage. Uh, Mulamba, when did you get so strong? Kamaravi too. The last time we fought, he was in a Faronis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Kormiavi. Yeah, how much of a They're strong, all right. I mean... But that's all they are. Yeah, th there's a lot going on in the fights. I won't the deny that. Miyabi used to play. It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. Even though so she like... only played it when yeah. people were dead. <laughs> They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute <laughs> observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. An offseer conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focused my efforts on and iterated. Okay. That's wrong! You can't use the offseers! We're musicians! Au contraire, au contraire. Oh, French. Behold for thyself. <laughs> The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it, but will is an undesired side effect. Evil. <laughs> you an asshole. You can't do this. Not to me, Abby. 
Not to our off-seeing rights. How dare you use them to your own ends? <laughs> okay. So let's kill the Mobius. That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Oh. Feelings. Musical feelings. Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! <laughs> feelings? <laughs> it's the Offseer melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an Offseer too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Power of emotion. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Stop my baddie. Yeah, but I'm like, what's up? Sorry, Jim. Stop you there, follow. my daddy. Right? <laughs> Maybe you just shut the fuck up. We were kept trying. We were kept struggling. Noah, Mio, what are you? Wow. Good thinking, you two. They're about to go all huh? scat, man. Just I'm beatbox this flute. Might actually work. Come on, guys, defend. Lance. Oh, uh, are you gonna make me all fight right. with only four people? Sure Cause that would be pretty neat. Oh, damn. Yeah, no. They, basically, this game started with only letting you fight with three people, and then as soon as they upgraded you to six, they were like, "We're we're not gonna we're not gonna bring you back down." After we're not gonna let, we're not gonna bring you back down off of that nice little high we gave you. We're gonna we're gonna have this be the new standard that will keep you out throughout the rest of the entire game. Now, do I mind this? No, because as I've said before, this game's cutscenes in terms of like action that goes on and all the stuff that goes on is so cool. It's so good. Like in terms of its like direction, staging, pacing. The effects that they show, um, like I, I just think it's spectacular. Like far and away, like some of the best what? JRPG cutscenes I've ever seen. Me happy? Hear me? It's me, Mio. This is flute Remember, telepathy. That day when you first explained to me the purpose of an offset. What if? Hear me out. Game. Let there be a challenge. So, the lights of life so, Mr. Sky, I, I will say that this, that so high, the lack of challenge that day, is I've, due I've to me being overleveled, not to due to memory, the game being incapable of giving a challenge. Me, Abby, if I were at level, that fight probably there. would have been rather difficult. Now, let it be my turn. And I'm more than I'm willing to bet that after this situation, yo, tears. Um, I'm willing to bet Just that after wait. this, we're gonna be yeah. fighting the Mobius, which would also be a little bit of a tough fight. Yo, wait, sort of origin, like resonating with tunes. <laughs> is, no, no. is that my is that my speaker? <laughs> My sword is a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> Just have to pair it with a flute. Huh? How can this be? Their memories. Their minds ought to have all been scoured clean. Why? An offseer's melody. It's more than a sequence of notes. It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did was shape the feeling Miyabi passed to me and play my heart out. Inconceivable. What is this? You You're lying April or something? Precepts. No Ouroboros should command that sort of power. The sword of the end. That's what's behind this script. Sword of the end is such an well, anime-ass name for a sword. I shall just have to ascertain the matter. <laughs> yep. Oh, Spark! He's coming! Now he steps in. Well, of course. There's no one else to fight for him. He's even chunkier than that Damn. Guy. Okay, he's that he's a large a lad. Lot of <laughs> a lot of chunk. Mia, come on. Yeah. 
Take him down. Then we can free the colony. Since you both are no longer bound by the flame clocks, my mobile's power certainly holds no sway over you. Oh no. At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear. And batter you all into oblivion! Boy. Here we have a large lad. You took me at these miles. You made her fight for you. You'll get exactly what you deserve. Hey! Okay. But yeah, like you can just see like this mo like so one thing with Mobius is uh, Mobius units or Mobius enemies, they just have a shit ton of health, man. Just an absolute cluster truck of health. It is bonkers. My people going hard. Give it up. Go. Which is why I'm glad that I have various incursors on my team. Because incursors are pretty good for just doing continuous, like, very uh, decent damage. Uh, come on, can the... Okay. Uh, okay, they, because if my two tanks are uh, in the... Because every time... Uh, because every time I show you on this latest experiment, it's like, oh, so fun. Right? <laughs> like, like, imagine how much more, I don't want to say much more interesting, because it was quite an interesting show, but, like, imagine how cool it would have been if, like, in Futurama, anytime, like, the experiments didn't work, like, the old man doctor just, just decided to wrestle whatever it was that made it not work. It'd be fucking hilarious. Okay. Now... That's that's what I want. There we go. He's almost at half health. Because holy crap, his his stuff is just a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep tie on at least in the uh, radius of a tank because he's just probably going to continue generating massive amounts of aggro such that they keep trying to target him. So I want the defense bonus. Challenges the uh, project for wrestling his son and pushing the way of the chance to ask him, right? <laughs> This goddamn son! Damn it! Damn it! Why the hell would you ever switch to Mio's version over Noah's version in PCs? And that's one of the main reasons why I could see people using the um, uh, using the manual control for um, for the team because basically you can set the you can set it so that your party members will only Mobius when you direct them to. But I found that having an extra menu to have to go through when you want to engage interlink even on the character that you're playing as. Um, kind of slowed things down a bit to the point where it, was, it wasn't clunky, but it wasn't as quick and easily responsive, responsive as I desired. Hey, thank you for the follow, Queen Melody Xeno3. Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah so this, like, 
Like, th this fight, like, I, I think this, I, I could probably save this for anyone who's played this game. I don't think, like, well, one, as I said, I'm, I'm far over level. I'm level 67 when the boss is level 54. Um, Dr. Torg, after his Mariana I turn every implosion pressure. I'm gonna blow up the ocean! Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, play it, do his, uh, air guitar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But yeah, Mobius fights, I, I feel, even when you're at level, aren't necessarily the hardest fights. They're just fights that take a while because of the amount of health Mobius enemies have. Right? They're more bullet sponge than inherently difficult. Um, which, you know, certain... Like, I'm not posed to the idea of bullet sponge bosses, but it kind of stinks when every boss of a certain type that you regularly encounter is that kind of boss. No, now, fine. in a game like this, I feel like it would be Come difficult to, to have a boss that doesn't feel at least a bit bullet spongy, given that you're playing as six different characters all doing damage at the same time. Yo, love it. Um, but yeah, it's just that the movie starts to take a while because of their life pool. And how scintillating a display. Scintillating, you say. And spread it wide. And in so doing, illuminate the world therewith. I shall be watching. Eagerly. Okay, and this one he didn't die, he just teleported out. He got away. Huh. That doesn't usually happen. What? What's going on? Oh my god. We're alive again. Yo, what's up, Miyabi? We always love it when dead friends come back. We always love when we can pull a Dragon Ball Z. Miyabi. Miyabi. Hey, Shenron, how's it going? I'm up? <laughs> I've been listening all along. Come for your three wishes. The you've been playing. Yeah. Every day. Bomber's panties. Yeah. God damn it, Ula. Thanks to you. I sent on so many. So many voices to so many others. And I'm not done yet. I'll keep going. It was a gorgeous melody. Yours. And... So they're all immediately Noah. brought forward to the ninth year of life. Nice to meet you, I guess. It seems that that's how it was, um... Feel like I know you. seems that that's how it was presented. Noah, huh? That, that, uh... Yours was very beautiful. Just like Mio's. Oh, thank you. Uh, I owe it that, to that's why that flame clock was powerful, or that's why the Mobius did it. He was like, oh yeah, like, fire burning bright and like, the last embers. No, you, you hold on to that. So they reincarnated oh. these characters, uh, these people, but somehow their memories remained from past. Uh, but they were brought forward deeper into all. their terms, Wait, which is why they why look I... like uh, right? they previously did instead of being from me to me, essentially prepubescent versions. And from her to you, the feeling is passed on. Until you can make your voice truly heard, please keep it with you. Yeah? Ye. I will. If that's how you feel, I'll be more than happy to keep using it. Take care then. Mio? Huh? You've become the greatest offseer I've ever seen. Oh, really? And how uh, many offseers have you seen? Grow. But at least I found my stride. <laughs> right, because, like, that's always Since a question. I'm not alone. If you walk up to a person who plays a very obscure game and say, I, you're the uh, best X player that I've ever seen, it's like, okay, we... well, <laughs> I could also be the worst <laughs> <You're back. laughs> at the same yeah, time. But... Yay. We really missed you. Thank you, Mio, Senna. Yeah, friendship. Can't do anything about this now, but we can't forget about Kamaravi and the others. Yeah, it must be pretty bamboozled. There's that, but also, they're supposed to be dead. 
Even if they wake up, they can't go back to their old colonies. Should we discuss this with Travis? If they're in the city, we don't have to worry about them bumping into old friends. And Mobius wouldn't be able to mess with them too easily either. Okay then. Hey, we got some people. Hey, how are things? We actually wanted to talk to you, if that's okay. <laughs> we got some people you need to adopt. We're gonna throw them from here to there, alright? By way of far lance. <laughs> We're gonna put them on a big ballista and then fire them over to their city. They were smart to choose the one wind instrument that doesn't require you to put your lips into <laughs> it to get passed around to everyone. I mean, you know what? It's like... It's not like they're actively passing them between them, like, between plays, right? It's more like, you know, they played them and then presumably they cleaned them and then gave them to each other. <laughs> Yay, delay. <laughs> hey. You know, it's fine. Uh, we destroyed the flame clock, so we shouldn't have to worry about the colony. On the other hand... Right, what comes next for your friends is a different matter. I get it. I'll send some guys over as soon as I get the chance. There's a crew on a scavenger mission close by. They built a ballista. You can fire them from that. Thanks. That's a big help. We'll plan on going to the clouds keep next. Gotcha. Wait about something? Just wondering if they'll know to see the colony people as our allies. Have a break, be back soon. Okay, Mr. Light. Yeah, chances are I'm going to take a break myself soon and go get dinner. Or I say go get, go heat up dinner. Because I had a late lunch, so I wasn't too hungry around like 5 o'clock when I normally eat. Which is also one of the main reasons why I went live early. So I'll have to get around to that. Uh, sorry, that was a weird thing to say. Anyway, we made it this far, so let's hurry to the cloud keep. Yeah. Hmm. So is that the end of Mio's hero mission? Yes, it is. Side story, Mio. Friend is back. I can't believe oh, a new hero added as well. So I got a new, I got a new class and I presumably upgraded. Yes. Mio is the troubadour, which is good. And Zephyr is now class broken. Miyabi's class, Troubadour, Roll Healer, a unique healer that can speed up allies' art recharge speed, which is awesome. Their talent art fully recharges every art of every ally. Holy fuck. The burst combo. When an enemy is dazed, hit them with an art that has the burst reaction to purge their rage status and increase the number of items. Oh, so that's what burst does. Purging rage status. When an enemy becomes rage, their attacks get stronger. You can use the L and N to set a party on the burst combo route. Completing the combo will purge the rage status. Okay, so let's do that. Miyabi. Term 9. Yeah, so she's in term 9 already. Um, first combo, do that. Miyabi's class, do that. Purge status, do that. Okay. So, let's do quests. Uh, we miss memory. Complete. Gamma. Get that affinity. That. Um. Okay. Mia, I'm glad we were able to save you. Yes. Gava Junction. Thanks so much, everyone. Next stop, the Cloud Keep. Conjunction Junction. What's this your function? <laughs> oh God. Uh. God, I, I remember watching those videos on the old TV that they would roll into all the classrooms in elementary school. Right, just like the old School House Rock videos, where it's like, I'm just a bill, oh I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Yo, what's up? Come, Ravi. Ah, I thought, I thought we injured him. You can stop resisting now. Victory is already decided. Surrender quietly. Enough. You will find. I don't do as my foes bid me. The enemies you seek. Huh? <laughs> What's up? I know more. Hello. It's you. Hello. Your senses return suddenly. You must be feeling confused. If we startled you, we're sorry. I like how you can kind of see the tip of the fire. 
like kind of wavering up there. Wow, wow. Mimi, it's okay. It's Kamaravi. He wouldn't attack a defenseless opponent. What makes you so sure? You're an honorable man. I don't believe it's consistent with the warrior's way you follow. This is my warrior's way. This is my ninja way. You've got some guts. Hmm. A pop squad. God, I like how his hair just kind of looks like something a of me. campfire. I'll hear you out. I'll start from the end. We want you to come to the city with us. City? Which colony is that? Is it a colony? How to explain? <laughs> we got a it's lot a to special explain. place. Safer than where we are at present. Of course, we don't intend to hold you against your will or force you into anything. And what has it to do with me? What do you seek to gain from this? We want you to live true to yourself. Reach out to true. True to. Explain. Someone once showed us it was possible to live life as we wanted to. We want to pass it on and let you be free. Free? Especially given that you're uh, kind of in your last you okay? term. <laughs> it's nothing. Just a little twinge. <laughs> After Could I it be gouged my eye out? Lingering influence? No. This is innate. I can't see through it. But it's fine. Remember the fight with P&O? It could be from that. That pain was the price. What Kamaravi paid for freedom. Or maybe... Still does. Okay. About what you asked of me before. I have one condition. Oh yeah, what is it? Hello. Promise me that they will receive the same treatment as I. That was our intent from the start. Of course. You needn't worry on that count. I thank you. Especially because two of them are our friends from before anyway. Whatever the circumstance we find ourselves in, the crucial question is always, how do we live? They will realize it too before long. Okay. I wish to find the path I should tread to discover my warrior's way. Mm -hmm. For now, we are traveling companions, headed for this place you call the city. The city. Thank you. you will be welcome there. By the by, Kamaravi, how are you with heights? In what sense? I thought you might be startled. So I wanted to give you a heads up. Hmm? You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> we'll let you know once we're fun. ready to go. Understood. I await eagerly. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> quest to face. I'll probably I'll probably do this hero quest before any other ones the for any of the um, ascension quests, just because I would rather unlock Our a like this. It's partly uh, term ten. Okay, so yeah. To this thing. Wamba. Term 10. Yeah, okay, so they're all in term 10, not term 9. Um, so I'll probably do his quest first because I don't want. Um, okay, so he's presumably the Seraph. Okay, so I'm gonna hop on Troubadour to get that going. Because everyone has Martial Artist unlocked. Um, oh, wait, no, you don't. Fuck. Um, I'll take the you need to be martial artist. I didn't realize. Um, you don't have it, so I need to unlock that. So you're helping to unlock Troubadour for everyone. You're helping to unlock martial artist for uni. Um, uh, yeah. And then... Uh, I'll be able to have Kamaravi uh, as whoever. There we 
go. So let's go back here. So arts, what are your arts? Autumn rain, it applies AOE around user, buff, debuff regenerate. Okay, way home is a burst, which is good. Ring of roses, fast recharge, small thing. Twin moons, 50% chance to remove all buffs from target upon landing a hit. Shadow parade boost, art recharge speed, 25, increased damage taken by 25. Okay. Um, I'd rather have the fast recharge there. Um, ether cannon. Um, not sure. So, that's 24. So... How much is energy grenade? Four. Oh, I can't have more field placement. Okay, that's why. 30 seconds. That's very long. Um, cross impact! Cross impact. Quick draw. There we go. Skills. What are you? Buff. Debuff. Uh, you successfully array of debuff. I mean. Physical. When non defenders are targeted, that might be useful in certain cases. Have healing. Extend. Just aggro generated from here. Yeah, I'll do that. And then that can, you know, I'll do that because then that will make it, um, auto attack healing twice per, uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Because that will make it so I can, instead of having, uh, that, I can't come down here and pop on Energy grenade. I like it. Um, okay, you that that get that off of there um i need to check out so recharges all eyes arts by 60 percent when capacity okay good 10 percent chance to keep recharge when using an arts that's darn good own arts gain 60 percent recharge when allies incapacitated boost all eyes uh, anchors okay um and accessories um attack boost aggro reduction over time that's pretty good um Phil's chance I get slightly on critical hit. Actually, isn't there... Isn't there one thing where it's arts... Um, I did where it was like... I'm um, blocking boost return on uh, recover. Master arts, master arts, percent chance, class aptitude. Could have sworn I got something where it was like... Um... There's like ch percentage chance. Um, I mean, I'm gonna do this because that's one that I should have on. I have on me, but I could have sworn there was one where it was like, oh yeah, this makes it so when you uh, just do when you uh, do a move, you have a ten percent chance to not use it. Uh, regardless, it might still be a thing, but... Okay, chronological... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then... That should be good. Let me come over he here. Yeah, because your martial art arts. Jackal Claw, Grand uh, also Evade. What's this? Boost damage to outline attack from the front. Boost recharge speed by 20% short are attacking arrows by that much. It's days when attacking from the side, boost damage by twenty percent for every. Yeah, I'd rather have that. Uh, auto attack recharge. Yeah, grants high crit rate. Oh, it's a bit. Yeah, that's not great. Your destructive charge. Can't do any more positional arts. Um, okay, so what if I just do this? Crit, crit, boost damage dealt by physical arts. 
professional arts. And how about I just do a crit rate? I do something like that. And that will let me save Jack or Claw. Do Destructive that. Charge. Which is good. Do those. Critical hit bonus damage charge attack. Uh, increase critical hit damage bonus by 30% points. Versus. Something like when canceling boost damage dealt by 50%. That's pretty good. But I think I would rather just passively increase damage on attack. Just being real. And then increase critical rate, boost critical rate, arts which are cancelled into cannot be blocked or evaded. Yeah, I still kind of want that on, but I think I would rather go with something I still want to um, make sense to just have memory lock it on as many people as possible. Quests, Dead Story Neo, Twist of Fate, yeah, 52. Um, items, air uh, system, training drills, Stun enemies by inflicting days. Pure, yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna save. It's good save. to Save, and then we are going to use our amiibos because we got a couple of amiibos. I will say this one's nicer because I can just kind of like lie it on top. Don't have to like think about it as much because it's just like, oh yeah, put it in the center where it's the only place that really could be. Okay, let's pick these items up that are going Every to appear out of thin day. air. Let's just Whoa, do that. Kamarabi, right I've never heard of calling by the name of City, but Kamarabi will not be counted no matter what kind of place it proves to be. Act. Who am I? What, what am I doing here? I don't understand. Yeah, makes sense. Um, okay, so... As I said, it's good to keep a record. Uh, I'm just gonna let this go, but I am going to be right back after I have some dinner. So take this as a chance to have a bathroom break or something. So I'll be back in a little bit. Bye.
Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay. So I just went and had a nice little dinner. And uh, yeah, so now we can continue on. Yeah, so I'm really glad that the food item stuff does not uh, get used when I'm just in a menu because... Let's go someplace else. Uh, because, like... Even though, okay, like, my food go, it had a 67-minute timer, so it only decreased during the battles and the slime expiration I did between eating it. That is so nice. Like, other games would not be that generous. You guys head into the city? Let's go. Let's go. Mamma mia. <sighs> okay. I'm excited because, like, you know what? Friday, like, having having Friday be an extra weekend day makes the weekends feel a lot longer. Like, no joke. Like, it it, it is so refreshing. Because woke up at, like, 5.30 today, which is obnoxiously early. And just was like, darn, would love to go back to sleep, but I'm not feeling too tired. So I just started my day, and I was like, okay, you know what, let's uh, let's bring some recycling and trash down to, like, the trash area down the street. Um, and, like, it was so nice to just be walking out. It was a bit brisk this morning, which was nice, after how warm the summer has been. Um, and just, like, marveling at how, like, empty and quiet it was, because, like, no one was out yet, so it was just like... Oh yeah, so beautiful, and then like I could see like the sun rising like over the tree line, and like the sky was changing color. I was like, damn, damn, this is this is beautiful. This is really nice. Like I don't never, normally get to see this because by the time I normally wake up for work, my it, it's already occurred. I am a leaf on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. And or my window is closed with the blinds pulled, so I don't get to see it anywhere. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. <laughs> I am... You can relax. We've landed now. <laughs> he is not a fan of very big heights. Guess he didn't like heights after all. <laughs> but he was fine in a big Ferranus. Funny. Considering how dung ho he was riding around in his Faronis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, but I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. He's just been born, and in a tenth term body, I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. Mm. What are you smirking at? Oh, just. You're a genuine good egg, Uni. <laughs> you're a nice gal. Huh? Where did that come from? Hey there. Hey, Hello. Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You're going to actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. Who? Oh. You think it was an intruder? I don't know. But there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's a... Uh -huh. uh, Oh, did they release Ethel? Oh, come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh, with the silver hair. No way. Ethel. Okay, so someone popped open Ethel's pod. Nice. That's it, Ethel. Okay, so I, f I figured with Kamaravi coming back, it would also be like, okay, how are we going to get Ethel back? Especially given that we have Ethel's class, but it has, to, has yet to get ascended, right? So... This makes a little bit more sense, where it's like, okay, now that Ethel's out and about, we'll be able to do stuff with her and ascend her class. Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. If such is the situation, I shall assist as well. Where shall we look? What? What? <laughs> um, we were just surprised... That you were so, uh, concerned. I am also recently of a cradle born. 
It may be some kind of fate at work. Yeah, their their destinies are tied. The soldier named Ethel. She may also find herself at a loss. So he didn't actually remember. And also, you, good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. <laughs> Do not push yourself, please. <laughs> You're all wrinkled. Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. Sorry, mate. He's just been born. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything bad by it. Anyway, moving along. He's just been born. <laughs> He's moving a baby. In and out of the city is strictly God, babies. Made. So if there weren't any incidents reported so far, both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Okay. Good luck to you, whippersnappers. Whippersnappers. Meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's going to happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. And after that, well, keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then. Yeah, yeah sure man. thing. They'll be safe as houses. I'll safe be in the as houses. Room. Keep me abreast of any developments. Houses where, though? <laughs> Camaraderie has temporarily joined the party. Okay. High places sap my resolve. Sap oh, right. my resolve. Well, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Okay. Destination. Still have to figure out how to get to this fucking quest related event, but whatever. You just teleport right there. Easier that way. Yeah, there's there's a pod well, that opened. It really is empty. It's definitely Ethel's module. But why would anyone want her? She's hot. If we want to know that, we just gotta catch him. And what do you know? They left us a clue. Nice of them. There's footprints all over the place. They seem to be in a rush. They're not Ethel's, are they? But then whose? We only have to follow them to find out. Hmm. They can't have gone too far. Let's get going. We gotta hurry. We have a friend to save. Walking around with dirty feet. Ugh, disgraceful. I dirty think that's probably feet. the least of their issues. Dirty, dirty feet. Hate these dirty feetertons. So much dirt on these feety, feety, feeties. Yeah. Let's use this. Jump, 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 coming up a big ass ladder. Oh yeah, look at this ladder. We're going up this ladder. Hey, yeah. How much longer is this ladder? It's like Metal Gear Solid, whatever one that is. I think it's three. <laughs> I, I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game, so I don't know. Like all I know is from like speedruns <laughs> that I've seen and the memes of just like the super big ass like massive ladder that takes like I think like over a minute to just climb all the way up three I think okay yeah it could what is three uh is three sons of liberty I think I feel like I where's that because I it, what four is peace walker yeah yeah do we have like an official like like time for how long to uh, how long it takes to go up? Because I know recently they actually discovered a skip to be able to like not have to do it. <laughs> Snake eater. Oh, okay. What QBB do now? <laughs> QBB. Um, excuse me. Almost three minutes. Damn. Okay, that's much higher than my estimated one. <laughs> like two twenty or so. Damn. Shit. Remember? QBB, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> we haven't even said anything yet. QBB, no, without saying. Friends come looking for naughty boy QBB. So I just finished Adenine's quest. Weird ending. Uh, uh, see, I can't remember which one was Adenine, unfortunately. QBB, but what did the quest have you do? do? QBB just, just want to enjoy game of ultimate hide and seek. Ultimate hide and seek? Hide and seek. What is that? It's ultimate pastime of daringly going oh, hide. Oh, okay. To go. Yep, okay, now I remember. 
Yeah, I didn't. Um, I had her. I remember when I played, but I don't remember what her quest line was. Cause I mean, I didn't necessarily do all the quest lines for all the unique ones that I got. She was researching extra ancient secrets. Okay. Daringly, defying a prohibition. Mm hmm. Kibibi, please asking to not make scary face. After much work, we found the data center for the world tree. Mm -hmm. So why did you open the cradle then? When get on panel, it opened by self. And when it opened, go wake up. Kibibi, really, truly sorry. Maybe if you were actually sorry, you would have stayed with her. We get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. <laughs> Crying so hard your stomach gets wet. Uh, kind of Pyrrhic victory, though. Oh, uh, yeah? Had to destroy it or something? And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? Awoken, Could Awaken. Get scared and flee from scene of hide. Oh. But can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. Morley or Leslie. Maybe think it direction of Centrillo Parade. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I am the morning mist in a pine grove. I am Mithrice growing across seasons. <laughs> I do not like heights. No, she just estimates that it would take her roughly a thousand years to decipher the full secrets of the world tree. And yeah, being a blade. Well, depending on whose blade she is, right, she could live quite a long time, right? Because... Well, listen, isn't it like blade eaters or the people that have like blade cores inserted into them live a lot longer, right? Because they have like blade energy, <laughs> like coursing them. Because isn't that the isn't that the thing with like the the Pope of that world, where he just like is super long lived because of that? Yeah, but that is her personality, I guess. Knowledge for knowledge, it's like yeah, yes. Yeah, because aren't there, like, two versions where it's, like, a blade eater and then whatever? Because it's, like, uh, Amalteus was also Indolian. Yeah, yeah, that would also do it. Hey, Mr. Light. Because it's, like, what? Like, uh, yeah, a blade that, like, absorbs their user becomes a bl uh, something. And then a person that has a core inserted into them becomes a different thing. People of Indo were basically elves. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we're elves, but also got like touched with even more immortality. <laughs> so I'm just never going to die. Blade eaters are humans with cores and flesh eaters are blades with Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. I, I, I couldn't remember the second term, the flesh eaters. Um, well, yeah. Mythos. Friend okay. Yeah. Don't mind him. Okay, He's just, uh trying to maintain his cool. I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. Is QBB in serious troubles? <laughs> and welcome back, Mr. You know what? Welcome back. I hope we all had a nice drink while we were away, or maybe a nice meal. Regardless, it's a treasure to see you all, and truly I want to dab all over this occasion. I love you all. Agra. <laughs> I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. Fall arms! Dude, once the new Fire Emblem game comes out, we'll be spamming that email. I'm gonna play that game. See, when Three Houses came out, I did a stream of me unboxing the special edition. I don't know if I'm gonna get the special edition for the new uh, Fire Emblem game, but... Uh, I remember I only did one stream for Three Houses when it came out, and it was just the one, because I knew everyone was going to be streaming it, so I didn't want to stream it uh, myself, um, especially given that at that point I was only doing weekend streams. Um, but I'm thinking with this uh, new final game coming out, maybe I'll stream that one from the get-go. Let's leave QBB in Travis's hands and go track down Ethel. She looks quite distinctive. Someone on Centrillo Parade should have noticed her. You're should right. have. She should have. Yes, let us go. Okay, so now this is really fuck with Kamarabe. I'll do my best. By, uh, do exactly as I by said. just jumping off this edge right here. Ah, my knees! I'm still a little 
unsteady. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. Really? Look out for the a little, Jeb. little Listen unsteady. <laughs> After dropping down five stonies and smashing your kneecaps. God, would ask me and they got me working, but I'm bored out of my mind. I don't work on me, but yeah, I do. It's just so boring without cap. Looks good. Not sure why mine needs to be brought in for the up team time. I mean, because he's like he's OG. He's he's OG. People people like it when they bring them back. Now I'm hoping I'm hoping that it's not like I'm hoping that the stands basically aren't like super. I'm hoping that they're just kind of more power ups than anything, right? Like oh, crypto's you guys stand power. They're not like super super plot involved or it's like hello i'm marth and i'm going to be talking to you every other cutscene because i am marth hi marth like that i hope it, i hope it's not like that involved i hope it'll be like oh hi for like one or two cutscenes as you get the ring from wherever you get it to let you use the stand and then it's kind of like in the background hey once i went to a compound title is marth in this one <laughs> that's funny i mean you know marth is in a lot of games but most of the games he's in, it's usually as just like a... It's usually in like a secondary thing, right? right? Like in Fire Emblem Awakening, he was in it, but not like... He, he was like a weird like bonus character that you like really didn't have to use. Um, of course, in Awakening, you had Lucina who was posing as Marth, so eh, kinda. But beside the point. Um... It has going through each final and game up to Awakening. This is preface talking if Marth was there. Yeah. So is he in the first final game? Yes, he is. There's much confusion. I see some relations have changed. <laughs> but it's not the first final game in the West. It's the first final game ever where it, where it is. <laughs> when they got remade, what? That, I think that's Shadow Dragon that was remade for the DS. That was like. The West's like first in, like introduction to his like for to, to literally the two Marth basically uh, outside of Smash. Right. Yeah, I've just been hiding here. Yeah, I remember I tried playing um, Shadow Dragon, and I like I didn't care for it. Like I didn't like the idea that you could just like freely change your classes for like every character to like whatever you wanted. Like, it gave me too much variance. I was like, oh, no, I don't like it. Um, and I also didn't like how a lot of the recruitable characters were only receivable. Hey, Wolf Slash, how's it going? Hey, Ed Mannix, damn, a whole bunch of people. The Dragon d'Ombrage. <laughs> Doesn't work in French. Yeah. Um, how a lot of, like, the recruitable characters were dependent on you having essentially less than a certain number of characters. Right, because it's like, oh yeah, you can only get this recruitable character if you've let X amount of people die. And yeah, the characters that you recruit are kind of meant to bring your store of characters back up because you've lost them. But I'm like, so you're hiding a map and recruitable is behind me killing people. I don't like that. Let me just see them. Let me play the maps. I like when they make two different board games in the YouTube because F you another day, another night shift. Like, oh, I say, okay, well, here's to hoping your night shift isn't too bad. One called Dealing Kingdoms, one called the Dueling Kingdoms. Yeah, get effed. <laughs> Got Boomer Performance in the park. Ozzy's flute isn't the only thing you can make sweet music. No idea about that until now. It's a real source of fascination. Glad I came to the city. Sure. I see some relations have changed. Um, just going around because I want to make sure I get all the affinity. <gasps> things. Yeah, yeet, jump off. I don't need my knees. Hey, Night Shift Gang! I say normal hell, but you'd probably ask if I am sick. <laughs> Why would I ask if you're sick just by saying a normal hello? Fontano starts every stream or every time he drops by by just calling me a nerd. Like, <laughs> I should ask if he's sick. If he, if he's sick on bullying me. Good Legend of Heroes run tomorrow. For real. Nice. Uh, Legend of Heroes... Okay, so you're doing a Legend of Heroes run through. That's cool. For reals? Yeah, nah. God, I haven't done a speedrun of Cold Steel 2 in a while. I'll probably do one uh, relatively soon. It's just been one of those weird things where I, I, I've been in this weird, I don't want to say funk about it, but it's like the uh, Moonlight Witch I'm reacting to. Hey, nerd! And such. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's, it's a weird funk where, like, basically the rules for Cold Steel 2 speedruns on, like, 2, 
to be legitimate speedruns is to have 6-2 turbo uh, for PC. Um, or basically, you can't have more than field turbo B2. You could have it be whatever. Um, or you could have it be one or something else. Um, but you can't do any of the fun out of bounds skips in 6-2 unless you have 30 FPS, which is just slower. So I'm like, either I do a legitimate speedrun where it can get posted to, like, you know, I could do a PB and get it updated on the site, or I just do uh, a 6.3 turbo or a 6.4 turbo for the shits and giggles. And I, I'm in this weird place where I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> it's good um, to keep a record. Okay, I've green. I become Steve from Borderlands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Shooty McShootface. The, m m the the best written NPC character in the entire game. That's All those options break, sound guys. unfun. I mean, it's not that it, it, like it's not that like I feel like I don't want to say it would be unfun. They they'd be fun in different ways, but I'm just not sure which way would feel the most fulfilling, basically. Um, I was uh, and the filthy no turbo guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah like the games are already so long like power power to everyone thanks spacebar for failing me hey man i was able to decipher it Ethel. like i'm already I, like it's just like do i want to play a game speed running with no turbo when there's literally a thing in the game now to make the game be fast oh, i barely caught you in time yeah what's up ethel you're not hurt I think I know you. What's wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> My hair's on fire. See. How about no turbo? Anyway, <laughs> One to four hundred percent. No. <laughs> no wolf slash. No. no smoldering. Camaralvi. <laughs> Ethel, you recognize him? I have to. Go somewhere? I have to. But why? Yeah, Joe, take please it don't easy. Look my turbo where I fell Let's take our time, time, yeah? <laughs> we'll help you look. No problem. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I have three or four max APRs or not, though. Well, I mean, you know what? Fontano. Tricky part. Fon what do we do from here? Fontana would probably be the your best bet for hoping for a one to four turbo hundred percent speed run. Uh, me, not so much. What you can expect from me is after Reverie comes out and I beat that one normally, I have stated on the stream and I do plan to stick to it. I plan to do what I call Western Zemuria percent, but I guess you could just refer to it as localized percent at that point, where I plan to do. Uh, I plan to do, it's probably, I'm probably going to turn into a Salahan or something. Um, but I plan to try to speedrun all three Sky games, both Crossbell games, the four Cold Steel games, and Reverie. Like, all in one go. Like, single segment. <laughs> um, just to, just to do it. Uh, Potomac can see Chips 18 hours new and everybody around Turbo and also read chat. Monster. <laughs> Damn, Fontaine, you have you have a fan. Man Manix is a fanboy. But uh Yeah. So the uh that that's my plan after it. Now, I should probably start getting to work on it now and soon the two two car games too. See, maybe maybe that'll be my thing, guys. Maybe every time a new trails game gets localized. I'll do the run. I'll, I'll do the subathon again, <laughs> just adding the just adding the next one on, <laughs> until the entire series is done, and I have to play for four days straight <laughs> with no sleep. <laughs> but you guys would be there the entire time, right? Like you guys, like you guys would be in the chat the entire time. You'd never let me. You'd never let me be alone, right? At all, ever throughout the entire thing, right? I can I can depend on you. I can depend on. I can depend on you like the hit chance in a Fire Emblem game with Farlands, right? Like, you know, 100% all the time. You never miss. <laughs> never miss. 
<laughs> Nothing will be my CS runway or a Chinese food. Answered the door for the food, left the food downstairs, got the food, and ate the food during her. <laughs> That's great. I can't take that. Yeah, call it the Are You Nuts Phonian? <laughs> yeah, that. That, or just call it Trails of Punishment percent. <laughs> uh, until literally, like, the next series after Kuro will be called Trails of Punishment or something. I don't know. <laughs> Trails of S and M. What can we do except foster her in the city? A first term, I won't be any use in a fight. <laughs> trails of punishment, like it. <laughs> I mean, truly. I may actually have to reserve that for my tales of Symphonia, true and hundred percent. Damn. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'll probably need to start getting soon, or get started, get started soon on building out the. Building up the splits for uh, for that for the friggin' marathon subathon whatever it may be, because I'm gonna tell you like I'm gonna need pretty detailed splits for what to do in like the sky games and then depending on how complex the crossbow games are maybe them as well. Five games, five bags of chips. <laughs> oh yeah, because to get two hundred percent right, you need to you you would need to beat the game five times. To uh, we have decided that Reverie is added to Crossbow for some. Oh, really? Have th that's been officially decided? Okay. Well, yeah, I guess one of the routes in it is Lloyd. So I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um. But yeah, because right, it's in. Um. By me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you you have made the decree, Fontano. Um. Yeah, because in Tales of Symphonia, right, there's a whole bunch of character-specific items that you can only get, like, one per run, right? And you would have to do each run-through, like, near-perfect, such that you would get the titles that reward you for never, like, dying or using an item prior to certain boss fights, right? Which play everyone blank after, after CS, CS for you? Uh, since I'm not on glitches for zero effect. Okay. This title is Crimson Sins. Punishment would fit as the You know what? That is true. Right, because it just goes Kuro, Crimson Sin, Punishment. <laughs> or, you know, they'll just they'll just bring it back and they'll just say, I don't know, Auger Innocence or something. They'll bring Auger back because they love that word. They love Auger. <laughs> Although, I guess in Japanese they just say Ao, which is kind of a generalized term for blue. Do you find that acceptable? <laughs> Trails of insanity. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Oh, I have something to say about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, innocent sin. <laughs> ah, let's knock on your door. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't call it that. <laughs> what are you talking about? No one, no one of us played that game. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Open the door. I have a proposal. Would you leave her with me for a while? Oh yeah? Wait, you're saying you want to look after Ethel? Just until she settles on her own path. <laughs> I played that game. One of the ten people that has, Fontano. I want her to have that freedom. And I don't know why. Feel it strongly. Because you are now, bound souls. You are fighters. You wish to duel until the day's end. As the city's concerned, too, we shouldn't decide alone. Travis, I fear we will wear him out again. It's not fatigue that that guy struggles with. It's age. You know what? Forget it. Maybe just don't say that to him, yeah? He's kind of touchy about it. I understand. I will mind my ways around him. <laughs> How does his chin guard stand? It doesn't seem like there's any straps. We can't allow the that goddamn cave looking for that demon. Yeah, you did. Okay. For days. <laughs> That's what you get. That is what you get. Actually, you know what? I'll just do this. This is faster. There we go. Um... Yeah, I say that as someone who at some point will probably will start playing SMT games on the channel. Uh, because I do plan uh, to play both 
um, P5R on PC on the channel. Um, of course, getting the new true and third semester. Um, probably going to be following a guy to just 100% it in one go. Um, maybe not 100% it, but at least get all the things right. Um, and then play Persona 5 Strikers after that, because I've only played like halfway through the first dungeon in that game before I think some other game came out and distracted me. Um, no, it wasn't that. I can tell you what happened. B5R came out a couple days before I moved into this apartment. Uh, and after I moved into the apartment, I was like, okay, I can start playing CS4 now on stream. <laughs> um, uh, so the reason I needed a rumor to get some cards, but you need to get the rumor, and it has a low chance, and the has a low chance to spawn. Yeah, it's not great. Um, but yeah, after P5R, uh, I want to play Persona 5 Strikers, because that's a sequel, basically. Um, although it was made in conjunction with the Royal version, so it's more of a sequel to base P5, although I think they refer to Kasumi um, just being there as well, um, or away. Uh, and Santa China is also get a random mutation chance on Persona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those old Persona games, they they deal. Or those old SMT games. I can't remember. Um, but then at some point, I also plan to play... Um, Devil Survivor One on the channel because I like that as well. Um, I think Devil I think Devil Survivor is my favorite SMT like series, like in terms of like the way that they've they've incorporated the SMT battle system, but iterated on it. I, I think Devil Survivor that like branch it probably has my favorite gameplay. Um, then I also plan to play. Um, was it Soul Hackers 2? Plan to play that as well. Not sure when though. I only played that one on mobile and got bored. Okay. Didn't even realize they had it on mobile. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. Remember because Devil Survivor One was actually on the DS, uh, not the 3DS version. Um, it was SMT something. Okay. Ah. Um. Well, I guess I mostly understand. But uh, Devil Survivor 1 was actually the first SMT game I ever played, and it's what got me into uh, SMT. So, so it has a special place in my heart. Even though I didn't beat it until a lot later uh, in life, because like I started playing SMT 1, got stuck at some place, stopped playing it. Devil Survivor 2 came out, played and beat that, and then I think after I beat that, I went back to 1 and actually, like, Finally got a couple of the endings. Guy playing DS1 and DS and got lost. Okay. Interesting. Are you sure you can handle child rearing? Maybe. Child rearing. What is that? <laughs> and also, this is not a child. This is a first termer. In a nutshell, I'm asking if you're capable of taking responsibility for the proper upbringing of this little princess. Little princess. I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. <laughs> Too precious. <laughs> she doesn't understand the concept. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I am sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. How do you know this? You were just born. I'll help too. <laughs> I'll help rear myself. Uh, but you cannot fight. I can be your eyes, though. I can see that which you cannot. No? By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh, yeah, too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica then. Oh, okay, f fine, fine, fine. I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't tell her about this. I don't want to get in trouble. I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey, you're that scared of Monica. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm scared, all right, but I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? It's just that woman Surely takes not. on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much at least. Your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. Oh. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. Oh, yeah? Well, make it hundredfold then. Don't get greedy, Trav. <laughs> Trav. <laughs> oh, we're doing nicknames now. 
How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? It's so interesting hearing the, like, British way to pronounce Lieutenant in this Lieutenant. Because all it can remind, all hearing that reminds me of is other ranks like Colonel. Where I think I've talked about it before, but wh back when I was a wee lad playing my first Battle Network game, which was apparently Battle Network 5, I forgot about that. I remember getting what I thought was Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. <laughs> and it was only, I think, about seven years later when I saw it written out and someone said, oh yeah, that's Colonel so-and-so. And I was like, wait, what? That's, wait. There's no R. <laughs> how, how is that pronounced Colonel? I was like, oh my God, I, was, I wasn't saying this Navi's name right the entire time. <laughs> it's Team Colonel, not Colonel. <laughs> what the hell? Where's the name for Persona or SMT? Since I love the social part of the game. Yeah, I, they... See, I will say that is one nice part about... Um... SMT as, like, an overarching umbrella, right? Where SMT games generally just all have kind of the same combat, at least the same, like, basic things that they draw from. The demon compendium, the moves that they use, and all that stuff. And usually a push-turn system, but not necessarily in all of them. Um, but the thing that I like about it is all the different branches engage with that system, that core system that the core player base will like, and then each of the branches engage with it differently, balancing it in terms of, like, amount of game that you use it with other things, right? Where it's like, in Persona, there's also uh, the social aspect, and there's uh, a lot of good synergy there where doing the social aspect improves your battle capabilities, and so on and so forth. Um, SMT is a bit more straightforward where it's a lot more gameplay and a little bit of social, but not really all that much, but that's not what they're going for. They're meant, I would say with SMT, they're more trying to take you on a grand adventure, trying to really test, like trying to question where you think a world should go, whether it's towards, uh, order or chaos or a middle ground or whatever it may be. They're not necessarily trying to bring you very much of a social aspect. They're trying to ask you a question, posit your thoughts, and then have you make one or like a few ma major choices throughout. Um, and then you get uh, Devil Survivor, where it's more about a lot, a lot more tiny, tiny social managements, where it's like, if you don't manage these things, it's not that you don't get the benefit, it's that <laughs> some of these characters that you could have had in your party are just dead. Like, you didn't save them, sucks to be you, and also asks similar questions to the main SMT line where it's like, hey, chaos, order, anything in between. Uh, now we had high school detectives and thieves, now what will be the next step in six? I mean, uh, I don't know. That, that, is, that is a good question. I mean, it, like, it... Like, I don't think, like, everyone says, like, okay, the Persona series is, go like, they're gonna get away from the high school saying. It's like, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. Persona's going to be about high schoolers. At most, they'll take it to college. Potentially. But I have a strong feeling they're just gonna keep it in high school. Because Persona 3 was in high school, 4 was in high school, 5 was in high school. There is no reason to believe that they're gonna break that pattern. But I have no idea what theme they're gonna go around. Because in 3, it was just like, you're a general high schooler trying to figure out what the hell's going on with this extra hour. Um, and figuring that out. 4 was, hey, bunch of murders. Figure out who did it. And also deal with your friends' traumas and insecurities. And P5 is, we're gonna change those rotten adults. Because they're assholes. Uh, and deal with your friends' insecurities. Uh, I don't know, I, like, I really don't know what P6, like, I mean, that I feel like that's a good thing where I don't know what it could be because that makes the surprise and reveal all that much better. But I'm very curious to know, to, to think about what it could be. Protagoras is a neat and had to travel the internet to save the world from trolls. <laughs> I mean, 
Ah, dude, that's Digimon Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, uh, back to this Lieutenant. Right? And there's no F in there. Why are you saying Lef? Why is Colonel have an L in it? But no, like, why, why, why is Colonel have an R sound in it, but no R in the word? A hidden R. I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't swell it. No, this is truly a grave debt. Especially Tyon. Tyon? You said I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet, but now I understand what you meant at least. And am grateful to you for setting me on the right path. No problem, bruh. You were the source of the spark that set my flame alight. Thank you. Um. <laughs> See, this... The, like, this feels genuine that he's ta talking to Tyon, but it also feels like they were just like, okay, who do we set up to be his class inheritor here? Because he doesn't really have a strong relationship with anyone in the party. <laughs> Tyon, he's talking to you. I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. The future. Really, it is a foreign country. Mm -hmm. Huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path. The right code to live by. The right code. Yes. Code Lyoko. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, remain ready to do battle for the city. And for you as well. And today I saw, we got Sweet Code and Remaster for PC. I have a friend that loves this here, so I'll take a look. See, I've never played any of the Sweet Code games, but I did back on Kickstarter Auden Chronicles. Um, back when that was still, like, the Kickstarter thing was going. Because I was like, oh, this looks cool. And it's apparently being made by the, a lot, bunch of the... It's basically meant to be a spiritual successor to Sweet Code. <laughs> so, maybe I'll pick up those games. Not sure. Um... But I think Aiden Chronicles coming out sometime next year, which will, which will be cool. Um, there we go. Cool. Twist to fight. Okay. Don't worry. I have a close eye on that. tie on. That is what we like to see. Kamaravi's class. Class Seraph roll attacker becomes more powerful with each hit taken. Okay, so it's like a. He has self-damaging arts to maintain high. Oh, interesting. I see some relations have changed. It's a Nintendo console, so I kind of missed the most big RPGs. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was. My first console that I ever personally owned was a Game Boy Color. Um, looks after partners. Okay. Uh, and my brother had an N64, so I played games on that. And then the first. Then we both owned, because we went halvesies on it, we went halvesies on a PS2. So I never had a PS1 or, like, any of the Sega systems. Um, or a SNES. So that's where about where my stuff started. You know what I'm saying? But there is a concern about that, because she's so young. You need judgment. Oh, like, it's not much being well-liked. That's what you get most of your age. You're kind of concerned, so I'll speak them down there. Just stand up that one. I just can't hear anything else. I don't want to buy either. Doing a real first-rate job, if you ask me. Okay, so we have Kamaravi in our party as a hero. And that's good because him being in the party will let us all unlock Seraph as we do, while Mio being a troubadour, troubadour, not sure exactly how to pronounce it, will boost that one as we go about. So, you'd be... So, want we'll to be efficient in unlocking classes for everyone. Um, but let's, let's check him out. What's, um... What are his arts? So Crimson Lance. Uh, so Crimson Lance inflicts topple on enemy from side. Uh, Sturm and Drang. Uh, when using art, reduce HP by 10% of current HP. Grants a high crit rate. Uh, Heavenly Spear, when using art, reduce HP by 10% of current health. But gives Blaze. Leveling Fire, boosts damage up by 50%, but reduces HP when using arts. Okay. And then Searing Fury. Um, 
It just buffs with fast recharge. Okay, that's pretty all right. Skills, where are your skills? Grants awakening when damage taken exceeds 35% max HP. Cool. Boost damage dealt by 80% when HP is at 80% or lower. That's damn good. Boost damage by 30% for every enemy in battle. Okay, and boost damage dealt to toppled and launched targets by 100%. Okay, interesting. Um, it's good to keep a record. Pretty, pretty good things. Um, but yeah, uh, so back when I was uh, talking about uh, me doing the 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 da 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 the subathon thing, um, also wanted to say that I still don't know how to get this fucking quest. Eventually, I'll find out. Um. Oh, wait, chances are there's a ladder on the left side that I could probably go up and go across or something. I don't know. Um, but um, at some point, well, I don't want to say at some point. So tomorrow I'm going to be playing uh, Mega Man Battle Network 2 and presumably finishing it. And that will take up my and that will basically free up the Saturday slot. So prior to Zero, which comes out this, uh, not this upcoming week, but the week after on Tuesday, um, I will have a little bit of, uh, I'll have one Saturday stream that's open. So I plan to do a something a little bit special, uh, but it's not going to, it's not going to be a, um, it's not going to be a Cold Steel speedrun. That's unless, of course, the Ratchet and Clank 1 gets met, at which point that will be the Saturday stream. Because I'll start that. Well, actually, maybe, maybe not. Because I wouldn't want to start that game then. Um, so, yeah, th that one will just be the slight special stream. Yeah, and Senna. Hey, me, I'll be feeling a little better now. Oh, yeah. Seeing you two puts my mind at ease for sure. So I'm fully selling you, but people here are so kind to me. It's going to be a gradual process, but I'd like to find things I can do to contribute. Cool. Yeah, hey, Tordo. Tordo the Tortoise. Yeah, I'll say that again for what you did. Nope. Yeah, but I say pretty much. We were promising people. Guess that now for instruction. That's pretty awesome news. Glad to hear things are going well. So I'm going to say nicely. My brush turned up here. Saves by emotion. The world started to change. All I need to safeguard the lives that we had until now. Why am I so powerless? Because change is good. Musical sometimes. Instrument. What purpose do they serve? Entertainment. Make you sad? Or joyful? The sound alone can stir your soul. Do you want to try one for yourself? Um, bang. If we don't get, we get that you're angry, but if you don't use your mouth words and tell us, we'll never know why. Hum, the hum, hum, bang. What? You're not even angry? Come on, man. If you just want to tell us something, just say it, will you? <laughs> God. I, I love the fact that there's just a guy who refuses to talk and will only, like, music at you. Plays flute angrily in your direction. <laughs> How has Ethel been lately? Has she settled down a little? She's really taken a training, but she keeps getting the better of all the grown soldiers. Damn. Tell me, Kamaravi, what have you been up to here in the Only city? Only for both games since I'm expecting some kind of cliffhanger. Oh yeah, no, without a doubt. Weakness. On Travis's urging, I should say. But you know, I don't, I don't mind having cliffhangers like th thrust upon me and forcing me to deal at the time. And I think it definitely helps where it's like, it's not like a year in between the two games coming out. It's going to be like six months or so. Maybe, or more like, because right, this game coming out in end of September, the next one's going to probably come out in like February, March of, uh, February, March of 2023. So like five, four or five months. That's not too bad. So I'm fine with ending on a, any kind of cliffhanger for that. And then after, then after, that's Azure, and then that's the end of the Crossbell arc. So, I mean, can only be so many cliffhangers, then you have Cold Steel. Can't wait until a friend of mine gets to the Cold Steel, and a Cold Steel hates me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't hate you, right? Because end of Cold Steel 1, yeah, big cliffhanger, but you can just go right into Cold Steel 2. And then after Cold Steel 2, you, you go right into Cold Steel 3, and then right into 4. <laughs> right? Like... You know, it's not, it, it's not like you have to wait a whole lot longer. Like, I remember the end of Cold Steel 2 and being like, oh my god, like, where's it gonna go from here? And it's like, oh yeah, Cold Steel 3 is getting localized. Well, but when I had ended Cold Steel 2, 
Costa 3 had yet to be announced. It was announced for localization, I think, approximately... three months after I finished Cold Steel 2, I think. So I jumped on the train at, like, a near-perfect time for, like, a new game announcement, which was pretty awesome. I had to wait years for Cold Steel 2. Yeah. <laughs> so I I, I, I I was lucky enough to drop on to the, the, to the, to the train at a pretty, pretty decent spot where the localization seemed to be coming regularly. Is this like a jazz or something? What are you doing in a place like this? I don't know, Lisa. I asked some old wrinkly soul. I was like, oh, yeah. do you think they're messing with me? I wonder. Okay. See, I just want to talk to some people to get the plus 10 because I'm so close to the next rank. Go to the 3A wave. 4. Yeah. Uh, see, I had Cold Steel 4 for several months, but didn't play it because I was waiting to move into this apartment so I could stream it without having to wait for weekends to play. That's right. <laughs> anyway, mine become common as I have used, whatever I see now, pass on to him. Feel like a benefit from going on missions for Travis or Bruce. Travis is he's a big meanie, that's what. Damn, just big meanie. Dropping them big meanies. Those hard words. Those very, very, very mean words. That ending, right, dude? Cold Steel, Cold Steel 3 is ending? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's dead, it, like, even in game structure and everything, it's just like, okay, how can we... I don't want to say how can we mimic, because they're probably meant to be mirrors. They're intended to kind of be, like, hey, here's the game that's introducing you to this half of the arc. Um, but, like, the similarities between the two games are, it's like, okay, this one's set at the school... You go around, do school things, and then end on massive cliffhanger that gets you ready for the sequel to that to that media entry. It's like, okay, yeah, the, the similarities are just absolutely there. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the wait between three and four was like, oh, God. That, that, that one hurt a little bit. I was like, okay, so when's, uh, when's four coming out? And then I had to wait a couple months to play, even though I had it in like on my desk. I was like, I have it. I have it right here. I could play it, but I'm not going to because I wanna. I don't want to have to wait a week in between play sessions to stream it. <laughs> have to had to move here and then start playing, which is why I didn't continue playing P5 uh, uh, P5S. Yeah, by Monica. Back to change quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me. Give me a little bit more. Someone give me ten. Uh, whatever. Um, okay. So, I want to do... Um, that's 50. Okay, so I've been alive for almost three hours. What that mean? Oh, wait, no, I, that's required here. Okay. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I've been alive for th almost three hours. I'm not going to end the stream now. Because I want to keep playing. But yes. I'm gonna do Lanzas. By the way, I seem to have angered Michiba earlier. She's hard to read. Any ideas, Noah? Um, well, I don't really think I can help you there, mate. Fergus. I think Charles. Eh? Is that it? Is that it? Is that enough? Damn no. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> Why did you have to get the batting in for it, even if you 100%? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... If you 100% it... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, because they, they force you to get the bad ending first, don't they? And then you have to reload, and the reload is what lets you use the item that you get from uh, 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 uh Agares. I don't think it's a cluster so I we got me out of the only thing you can't even work real is that enough? Oh, damn it give me enough quality level you bastard um regardless uh, so I was deciding whether or not I should do a different hero's sure well quest rested. or something, 
but I'm gonna do Lanz's hero quest because he's in my party so I don't have to remove Kamarabi, which I don't want to do because I want to keep him in the party for CP purposes. Let's lay out the facts. <sighs> well, well, now I can't tell which one was tougher. What's this about? Uh, nothing really. I was just thinking about the train regime those lost numbers go through. Here's a real gauntlet. That's how you toughen up, ain't it? Not that I want to sign up myself. Right? Ours wasn't pleasant at all. When it boils down to it, I think it's the trainees who are better off, yeah? Compared to what we're doing now. Exactly, yeah. Life was a lot easier back when we were new recruits, right? Uh, hmm. That does make a kind of sense. What we do these days is fighting, and then more fighting. Yeah, you get me? What sort of training do you think they could actually go through? Curious too, Santa? You wanna come with? We can check it out together. Yeah, now you're talking. It's always fun to shop around for some new exercises. You lot are really getting into this idea. Train ground should be near the dormitory. We spent the night there once. Yeah, let's drop by when we're in the area. Yeah, side story lands. Like his, like his fur jacket. I think that's one aesthetic that I've always just really liked. I've always liked characters that have like fur coats on. Or like fur trimmed coats. Like the, the fur just makes it super cool. So you wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose. Such daring lunacy. That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. Always. People. Lives. The lot. Reduce. Why? Reuse and recycle. Yes, corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know. No life can be harvested therefrom. Yes, I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock. Special flame as clock. As a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh. <laughs> Is that not simply sublime? It's kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get a haircut tomorrow. It's getting a bit long. Kind of want to shorten it down. <sighs> My hunger is stirred. My hunger is stirred. Drum, drum. Give me. Give me, give me, get damn it, you bitch. Drum, drum, give me ten. Very good ship boundary, boundary, very good, man. Damage, some master, 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 master. Yeah, there we go. I was like, please just give me the next level of the city. Now I just need to get to five so I can get speed, Joker. Because <laughs> that is, that is the thing that I've been trying to get, right? Like, I need Colony Mew to get to five. I need the city to get to five, but the city is a bit harder because there you can't use the collectopedia. There's no collectopedia for it, which makes it very annoying because that means you have to do just all the quests. Um, but for Colony Mew, if I wanted to, I could just like grind out a whole bunch of the collectopedia cards to get that up to Swift Swimmer at, because at that point, uh, I would have both swift swimmers, which means my swimming speed would be the fastest it could possibly be. Whereas right now I only have one of them. Because one of them is just give it to you. Says I got out of prison camp, made it back. Says remade up. So am I. Okay. Talking again. Same mood you were in. Never seen that happen. I was really scared of shaking. It's real shocked. You're gonna get hurt. Not a sign chance the one who needs your help, really. Shine's going to leave his house someday. Soon as you can't tell it. And there's just have for example. He said he was sorry for keeping it from us. He's on the same level. Maybe we can work together. Yeah. Sima. So glad you bought me a ton of skate. Movie just cut a bus. Over here, the excited. Sure. Ooh, hello there, sir. Right, oh. 
Despacito. Right. Your cry seems to go wild for you. Yeah, I guess I do get buzz of energy from my fans for that. I'm really grateful. If I can show people there's hope in surviving, then I can fight any battle. You're not gonna, I'm starting to understand the whole Crito effect now. Crito effect. <laughs> Lance, you're a glutton for punishment, ain't ya? Yes, you Don't tell me bus. you are curious too. I want to know all that tricks of the trade. Okay. Boom. Time for Lance training. Give me, give me, give me some mini games like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want, I want to do a, I want to do a squat mini game. Or give me a rhythm game so I can be on stage. Getting all dolled up. <laughs> Like, you gotta appreciate how big the friggin' Defender Sword is. Like, it's massive. Yeah, I got this beige. Look at me. Six ain't many. Six of what now? The Ouroboros candidates. All that training, and six get in. Oh yeah, Monica did say something like that to us. I feel kind of let down. How so? Just knowing there's a pecking order here too, makes them the same, same as us. People aren't equally suited to everything, such as life. Sure, I guess, but... I'm feeling hungry. You guys want to go grab a bite? I'm in favor. How about the shopping area? I found the tastiest looking torpedo stand. How's that sound? Torpedo wraps, eh? Spark, yes. How many Lance? torpedo wraps could there possibly... How many torpedo wraps yeah. stands could there possibly sure be in this one city? My inner turmoil. Okay, Centrilo Parade. Just fast travel. I've said this before. Love that plus button. It makes it so much more useful. Yo, juggling! Love it. Like that's one skill that I've always been amazed at. Like, hey, you, what are you like, doing? The hand-eye coordination you need to be able to juggle. How many times have I told you no performing out here? Why? What does it matter? <laughs> He's just juggling. You shouldn't be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. It's my job. You call that a job? <laughs> hey, you're all Boris, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance? Like why though? This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. Damn, <laughs> six still, balls. still they like to push me around. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting? They say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. Oh. <sighs> There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? You think so? You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, 
How do we know they're right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Isn't it fine if there's, like, one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? Even if it ends up being pointless. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. <sighs> I want to live my way. Take it one step at a time, the way I want. Really live. And I did it my way. Oh, rats. Better scarper before the guards find me again. Hey! Beep, beep, beep. Tell you what. I've got a new trick. Just in the works. You should come and watch. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. You okay there? Bye. Can I help out? Nah. I'm all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Lance! This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. Right. On it. Yes, let's go. Anime head nod at each other to we never ensure... We never got to see any torpedo wraps. To ensure mutual understanding. Sorry, but the war room should be our top priority right now. No, keeping ourselves fed should be our top priority. How are we supposed to fight on an empty stomach? You won't comprehend how serious this matter is. A cradle transport for the colonies? Yes. The report is calling it large scale. And you want to liberate it? Like you did that last batch? Right, well... That explains the emergency assembly. When? Where? By our estimate, tomorrow, late night. Podesto Valley floor, at the Great Sword's base. Boss, the logistics guys wanted an overnight camping kind of deal. Approved. Sort out the planning. Just what I thought you'd say, so I took initiative. We can leave any time. What do you think? Should we lend them a hand with it? Yes. Yeah, gladly. If Monica's okay with it. They'll need our power. It's up to you. But if things don't go to plan, there might be a fight. We're prepared for that. Hmm. Then be my guest. Take this chance to show my soldiers that Ouroboros spark. Be my guest. Be my guest. It'll be, be an illuminating experience guest. for them, fighting or not. Goddess Althina, lend me your power. <laughs> All right. We'll drill them well. Okay. Boom. Plus sign. That's what I like to see. It's always great when you've already been there. So it lets you fast travel there immediately. God, look at it. this ocean. Like, this ocean just sets me off, man. Like, seeing how much of it I haven't gone through, but knowing that I'm pretty sure I've, like, hit every major island is infuriating. Right, because like there's so much of this map that is quote unquote undiscovered. But like I've looked across it, right? Like I guarantee I've looked from here to here at some point. Or I've looked from here to here. So I like I know that there should not that there should be nothing in this area, but it's all it's all crisscrossed and gross looking. And I hate it. It's like why can't the boat discover more? Luna. I need to drink some liquid. I need to drink. Oh God! Hello there. I don't think they were expecting me to uh, fast travel. <laughs> but they were expecting this to be the first time you were supposed to come over here. But I Things used to be easier, huh? What was? All we had to do was bash heads. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? You weren't scared? 
Sure, I was scared. But at least I knew what was expected of me. Hmm. Wait a sec. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. Just saying how I feel. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing my nutting. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No thinking, no nothing. I was talking about before, you spoon. <laughs> you spoon. Sorry, who are you calling a spoon? <laughs> oh, shut up. If you're going to act like a spoon, of course I'm going to call you one. Uh, I want to know one. What? Oh. Let's just chill out here, you guys. <laughs> you spoon. Okay, then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... See? You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Doesn't that make you the spoon? Just because I slept through that class, if I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah, you spoon. We had everything handed to us. Back then. That's not quite true in your case, though, is it? What? You had thoughts. And deep ones at that. I can tell. When we're playing together. That you have, as well. I hope... we find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it. I'm sure. I also like the nice part about these hero quests for the main party, that while it is highlighting one of your party members, it does not neglect the rest of your party, right? This is a, this is a lands side quest, the Podesto Valley floor but ahead. you get to see more of Uni, more of the Noah, more of Mio. Mio! Oh, hello there! Hello there! How's it going, everybody? My voice is cracking like I'm in middle school! Please don't bully me on the playground, Mr. Krabs! Off on your own. Let's do this because I didn't. Uh... Ah, yeah, he's in too fast. Okay. I'm the girl with the gall. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick on Tyon because he's more, he's more of an attacker, so he's a bit more. Active to play as. Mm. <sighs> hey guys! Hey guys! It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do a knock with you guys. What do you mean? You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! <laughs> Damn. I... I mean, that's... <laughs> if you're here with some half assed notions, go home. I... I... Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. I just got excited. Lance, why are you being an asshole? They talk big, but... When shit hits the fan, they might just double cross us. You watch. Oh. You saying you can't trust us with the job? 100%. You never trained with our unit before. Never ever fought by our side. Way I see it, you're just some arse wipes who stole away what was rightfully ours. <sighs> oh yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. You can only begin once you've gotten everything out in the open. Really? You can only really? build trust once you're assholes to each other? One of my dad's favorite lines. 
Wasn't it the same for you lot? I mean, yeah, they, they I guess the their first interaction was literally trying to kill each other. A really cool breaking cutscene battle. Like it's so nice. Yeah. You might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. Yeah, they got good role models. Us. Lance. Huh? Is that? I can't even call this. Practice. Kill you. We can do it. No doubt about it. Baby, punch it real fast. Punch it real hard. Punch it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, burst. Boom, forty-nine thousand. Because yeah, does more damage. Because uh. You're all thinking it. So yeah, the martial artist alt gains damage as uh, you have more arts that are full charged because it depletes all those arts when you use the alt. So it's nice. It's a nice thing. And it will probably work together well with um, the troubadour move that, uh, that gives fast recharge. Oof. Oof. Hiccup. It's vital to keep a record of events. Small hiccup. Mm. Small hiccup, big hiccup, little ball of fur. Although I guess a small hiccup could be considered a, a child protagonist from this How to Train Dragon series. A small Our intel hiccup. Is right. There's quite a few of them. But it's too quiet. There's barely any signs of life. What about They're those crickets? probably all conked out. The fewer centuries, the better for us. Monica, the cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go round from the right, we can approach unseen. Perfect. Roger that. We can approach unseen. Never been here before. Uh, if it's all like this, then this will be a cakewalk. Okay, interesting. Try not to get ahead. So, obviously this section wasn't here the last time I came, it was just kinda open. And I was able to walk down over here, so now that this quest has started, they've added a fast travel point. Because they're, the camp is newly here and is probably gonna stay here. I like that. To wreck. Yo, look at these. They're pods. Do they have people in them? What is this? They're all empty. Oh no. Monica! There's nothing in here. They're all empty. Sanaba! Report! Same over here. We got cradles. But nothing in them. That's not good. <sighs> Monica? <laughs> Monica? Did we, did we just fall for a trap? Sounds like you did. <laughs> yeah, it's so white. <laughs> My eyes. They've got us surrounded. Cavessi troops. Well, doesn't it suck to be you? Every little step you made turned out exactly as planned. Now us, we're an elite unit, the all-stars of Kevin. A whole bunch of children. You lot have been doing as you please for long enough. Right here, right now, we're gonna correct that little mistake. Garvel! Oh, so you've actually heard of me. Guess I gotta give myself more credit than I thought. Layla and who? Sparks. They look like they're in their early terms. That means. Okay. 
They got reborn. That huh? adds up. Hmm. This lot. Soon after they moved to Colony Eight, I hear they croaked. <sighs> okay. Don't dare look down on us second termers. Second we were termers. chosen. We are the elite. Now I don't know if you're lost numbers or what. But you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll! I figure it was because they didn't want to make older models for them. Martial artist does so much damage. It's lovely. And also just this blowdown, which is all, always a fun time. That, yep, that does a lot. Because <laughs> I, I had all my things filled. Boom. No problemo. This elite unit of children? Pathetic. Just finish them off already. I need that sweet, sweet life. Finish them off. Hurry, run them through. Go on. Kill him dead. That'll give me a good top up, nice and easy. What the hell? Gotta love this new flame clock the console was kind enough to give us. It's a belter. Oh. Green. It's a different color. Yeah. Yeah. That is no ordinary. Right, we've flame seen clock. what blue flame clocks. Back the in my old colony, one, if some moron green. slowed you down, there was nothing you could do. Oh, you could kill him, sure, but you wouldn't get any life from it. But around here, that's all changed. Here, life is the privilege of the strong. The final survivor gets to take the whole snuffin' cake! <laughs> Gavel. You get it now, do you? The weaklings need to be taken out of the running, so give me some of that sweet life! Give me some of that sweet, sweet life. You mother! You can call yourself a leak all you want. <laughs> but we're stronger than you. But do moderate your expectations. Huh? You're the same as ever, Gav. Only ever thinking of yourself. How are you, you gonna win against, against us like, like that? <laughs> we're being strong. Uh, uh, what the snuff is this? No one told us about these monsters. Even though they're used you to the not fight. To hesitate. Meh! Meh! <laughs> uh, God. It's the deep voiced meh. What? Are you... Okay, now it's time for a Mobius fight. Lady Consul! I should have known. Guess you can't have a Theronis without a Consul, eh? My Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. <laughs> I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? They're an anti-city special unit. Oh. One that I have diligently raised and lavished with love myself. According to her helmet, interesting, because it's it obviously Medusa and Spy. breaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. I hate failed investments. I hate crypto. You see? <laughs> I'll take you brats out myself to protect mine. Yo, she's got a hula hoop. 
never been good at hula hoop. Oh, interesting. So we're starting the fight off with these on. I mean, I'll take that. That's you want. You want to make it so I don't even need to. Okay. Uh, go. Get out of it. Age, just a whole bunch of health. Once again, not. Bam. Just a whole bunch of health. But I always kind of want to stay in obvious boosts because that seems like it's a smart decision. Probably change. Um, uh, probably change um, Noah's uh, alt off of the slash and put it back to the heel. Because honestly, like the slash, while neat, it's not all that good for being real. It's interesting to finally see like a boss that incorporates just kind of like generally walking around to try and like interrupt or make it so any AoE setups that you have are not necessarily uh, as effective. Right? Because most of the time a boss will just kind of sit still. And because you're sitting still, it's really, really easy to just have a whole bunch of AoE that just demolishes. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have quick recharge and art follow up and regen and defense up and it's... Okay. Yeah, chain attack, because one, I don't know what Kamarabi's thing is, and two, let's get the, you know, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's get as much CP out of this as we can. Uh, multiplies TP by 200% when first in line attack, but TP returns to pre-action state upon reactivation. Okay. That's fine. Boom. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Take that every every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Um, okay. Let's do that. Get us to the 99, and then I can use lands to get the overkill, which boom, now we're in the XP bonus situation or stage. I still love how the gauntlets are just like anchors. Whoever had that genius idea of like, you know what, we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna have pirate with anchor hands. They they had a very smart idea. Boom. 50 plus 135 up to 63. Um, okay, so we'll do you because that'll get me up to 90 something. And then I'm going to use her specifically because she'll get the one that has the most TP back, which gives me the greatest chance of getting the next order completed. Which hopefully will be an Ouroboros. Well, will hopefully be one that unlocks Ouroboros order. So I can just do that. Um, so, Senna, no. Uh, do that. 
Okay, so let's do her first. That way I can be sure that I will get all three of the attacks for maximum damage and therefore maximum XP bonus. Because you always have to worry once you get over like the 50 or 60 TP mark with attackers in doing it like first turn because you'll get that bonus, uh, the percentage increase bonus after you've accumulated all the bonus TP from the damage and any other things. So you're liable to just do an order by yourself, which, while good in terms of being order efficient and like making so you can do as many orders as possible, it is not all that helpful when you are trying to uh, get as much damage as possible. Because uh, you just can you just do the order in one, <laughs> which makes it so you're not using as many of your attacks. Okay. There you go. Boom. 102 all the way up to amazing. Amazing. Uh, see, I was really hoping that when you did the ascension quests for the various different people, that their interlink move would also potentially, like, get upgraded or change. Because you go through the, you go through the game doing all the different Ouroboros orders, and they all look the same. I don't want to say look the same, but every time you do an Ouroboros order, it doesn't change in any meaningful way. You got, you got six of them, so there's only so many that you can see. Did you ask? Dear, oh dear. It seems your grasp has exceeded your reach. Noah, cut the flame clock! We gotta release Garth and the others! Yeah! Yeah, yeah Slash. This simply is a fast! Yay. What just happened? The, the console, she... She just disappeared. She just snuffed and disappeared. Lady console? Lady console? What? What am I supposed to? <laughs> Fucking clocked. <laughs> Drop it, Garth. Your clock's gone. Just stand down. <sighs> Peace. You don't have to fight anymore. Huh? No more stealing of lives. No more charity from consuls. What, what are you on about? Get snuffed. You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting is all that we know. So burn something else. If we else. don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? Tell me, what do we do now? Farm? Fish? I don't know. Dig a hole in the wall? Hey. <laughs> Need some Fine. Help. There's a whole bunch of things uh, you could do. Oh, yeah. Nah. Been through worse. Man, you guys. Stunning. You're so far beyond us. Yeah, we're awesome. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. Your chair RPG for the text. No biggie. Just as well. <laughs> they would suck. They would suck massive dog. Think they'll be okay? Those guys. Maybe. Maybe not. No What's idea. eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we gonna do now? Eat a hot pocket. How would I know? Yum. Huh? You stop stealing lives. You guard them. It's simple. But the how is up to you. Got it? Pauldrons in the way of my Fuck. face. You can't do this to us. I just did, bitch. Uh huh. Colony four. Know it? Yeah, I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor. Starting out. Okay, so this isn't going to be its own colony right here.
You gave them the info. Now they've got a choice. Some might take it hard, though. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment, too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. Bite us in the bum? We did the right bum. thing by telling them about Colony 4. I think that was the best course of action. Oh, they still have to travel there <sighs> and get to Colony 4. <laughs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of, back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Nah, nah, nah. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people. Right? Oh yeah, they had the uh, introduction up. sequence where it's like, hello, oh, my name yeah, is this, I like this. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. Right? Eh? Oh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. <laughs> oh, Lance, a big... Nothing Sundaray. <laughs> nice. Killed another console. Oh, gotta love it when you kill the big red guys. Just like, oh yeah, look at you and your posh armor and all your transforming shenanigans. Uh, how about I cut you down to size? Here. Lance. Make you, make, make you a small play. red man like yeah, Mario. <laughs> Oh. Ah, thanks a bunch. It's a burrito. Oh, let's see. No tall spice here, but double veggies. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. Oh. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Oh. Mm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delight. <laughs> oh. Ta there's even chocolate sauce. Chocolate. How can I possibly choose? Tie on the culinary connoisseur. So many options. It's still hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. Huh? But is it enough? I want more. <laughs> Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? <laughs> Ta Talking about my soul stomach, not my real stomach. Damn, look at that. Oh, what a performer. Oh, hey. Whoa, he's pretty decent. Dece? Or have I got it backwards? Huh? <laughs> I'm waxing poetic to myself out loud. Maybe. It has to start with me. <laughs> yeah, lands. Look at all that. Heavy guard rank cap is now up. Awesome. Nice big breakfast. Okay, so you know what I want to do? Kind of want to make lands back to a heavy guard. I'll keep you safe and snug. Uh, oh god, look at all this. Uh, you know what? Let's just auto build you for right now. Get it all on there at least. And I can come out afterwards and figure out what I want to do. So solid stands are just damage taken and damage taken. Yeah, no. Uh, so I, I still agree with kind of having all these still the same. Um, but it's all the other stuff. I need to figure out why slash evades. Uh, yeah, no. Um, you know what? I'll do that. Give me, give me stuff. I mean, of course, your stuff doesn't come very fast. Uh, actually, I want you to be. There. It's like you know what? Buffs are always good. Buffs are just always good. Um. You know what? Spear point thrust. We might get a bind every now and then. Um, night hunt boost. Uh, staying power. If you have art follow up. Uh, staying that 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 wouldn't be bad. I get something. Uh, shield wall. Wall of loss. Glowing. Okay. Resonant flag. Anchor, person, shield wall, Roman guard, R S P after cover three point five. Uh, okay, we made it. Yeah, 
You know, I'll do Hornet. Hornet. Yeah, that way, that way I have another source of heal. Skills, what am I looking at here? Is my for garden, guarding. Okay, reduces damage taken by 20% when HP is the 30% lower. I don't really need that. Asian expertise. Right, eh, physical upgrades. Yeah, that's fine. Push recharge, speed work, trying with non defenders. Uh, issued by itself. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're not really, I don't really have all that many master skills on them. That would help. Maximum HP, block rate, 100%. Okay. Um, so, you know, he already has a crap ton of health. No. Block rate is 42. Attack damage. Yeah, so you know, I'm going to do this instead. Start each battle with aggro. Accessories, but uh, yeah, because he already has a whole bunch of on that. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want that. I want the one that makes it so I'm blocking boost recharge. Yeah, there we go. Because he's gonna hopefully block a whole bunch. Um, increase physical defense. No. Um, do I have one that specifically increases block? I should have something. Um, is there physical defense? Oh, block rate. There we go. Let's. I'm quite fond of this. That. I'm quite fond of this. Boom! Get me up to fifty-five percent because that works with that. Max HP by thirty-two. Um, uh, boost aggro. Yeah, and I want cruise aggro every second because I want him to always be getting everything. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. Like, I, I just, I absolutely adore the, like, the furred collar. Like, it, it's my favorite design thing on him. It's been a long time since I had a person just in their base clothes as well, which is funny. Test story lands. Um, okay. So, you know what? Can I go down to Colony? Is there anyone from Colony Mew that has a couple things? The affinity ain't much, but. It's looking complete! Killed Murray. Yeah, because you. It's looking complete. Hit 45. There's got a got a bunch of Connie Mew ones. So it's just a matter of. It's looking complete. Like, I, I, I wish the thing in the collectopedia told me how many it's of each complete. thing I have. Um right now. We just had to persevere. Like how much of each thing do I have. Is that I would say that that's arguably decently important to know. But oh well. Okay, so 165. Damn, there's only 165 is like nothing. I want that swift swim. That is what I desire. What I need in my life. Um okay, map. Hate your region full. Any, any quests? Uh, Warrior's region full. Any quests? Not really. To last region quests. Just checking because if there are any quests, I want to kind of go pick them up. But I think I, I think the only quest they're really gonna show up. Stuff to figure out what that point of interest is. 
I have no idea. Um, because I think the only place where I'm gonna really find quests are the hero quests where I'm specifically going to be um, like picking a character to purely for the sake of getting their quest. Um, yeah. In the off time, I'll probably be grinding out um, the heck? Oh yeah, I never really went on this. I never like fully explored this island. Um, point of interest, but not a quest. Point of interests, yeah. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna skip travel there. And once I get here, that is pro. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna call it for the night because I'll have been going for just about four hours. It's nine o'clock, so you know, getting a little bit tired. Cause I started at five, and it, it's it's surprising when you when you realize like how tiring, or how tiring sometimes streaming is when um like as you're doing it, just because it's like oh yeah you're just you're just playing a game it shouldn't be that tiring right and then you're like oh wait no, trying to talk the entire time and focusing on not just the game itself but also on the chat and also on the words that you're saying and trying to keep a conversation going and be some kind of entertaining uh lest you not really put out uh all of that interesting of a stream because I've, I've said it before but like the kind of streams that like i'll drop by someone's stream and if like they're not really talking all that much like I don't usually stay all that long because it like the the what I hope to do by talking a lot when streaming is to encourage people to feel comfortable putting something in chat to engage me in conversation right if someone's it, it's almost like that thing where if like you see someone reading a book right if you see someone reading a book you're your first instinct is not, hey, go over and talk to them. It's, oh, they're doing something in silence. I shouldn't interrupt them. It's good to keep a record. And while streaming is an inherently public activity, because you're just presenting yourself to the internet at large, if you're doing it while not talking, there's this added bar of, well, maybe they don't want it to be like all that public, or maybe they're not streaming for the sake of conversing maybe they just want to stream to stream for whatever reason um which is why i always want to make it quite clear that you know i'm up i'm always ready to talk <laughs> like so don't po post anything in chat i'll comment on it and hopefully i can entertain uh a degree of back and forthery with them uh, on just about any topic uh, so long as it's a reasonable topic to talk about. But if no one's talking, then it's hard to even start that, because it's like, well, what, what would a 2B chatter say? Like, hi. <laughs> it, like, that it feels awkward. Don't have much time to chat on work, but even then, I like the mind. Like, yeah, and which is, which is also why it's there. Because if you're just streaming in silence, well, then... What, 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 what what's the, is it, quote, unquote, what's the value add if we're describing it as a product, quote unquote, of your stream, right? Like, if you're not talking, then your, you playing is no different than someone else who isn't talking playing it, and it isn't different than someone else else who isn't talking playing it. It's your interaction, your comments, your commentary, your, it's your act of streaming, you interacting with the game, that is the value add to just having the game be presented. And that's why I would say it's quite important to talk. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always understood that, like, even if there are people there, like, lurking, there are a variety of different reasons for why people lurk, right? Some people will have to lurk because they just can't chat right they're they're at work they have it just on in the background but they're busy with something else other people they lurk because 
uh, they're they're not comfortable chatting. Other people are because they don't have anything to talk about at that point, right? Like I've gotten into very, very like streams where it's just like, oh yeah, I'll be listening and stuff and just like going on. But it's like, there's no thoughts on my mind that I feel that I need to present to the streamer at this point. Um, now I'm sure, like, I mean, as someone who's been in a situation, I would take anything, right? Like, sh sh shove anything in my face in terms of interaction. Like, please. <laughs> like, throw me a lifeline. But it just comes down to the point where it's like, am I just chatting because I feel like I'm obligated to or because I want to? And I know I don't want anyone to feel obligated to try and get into chat and chat. Like, I want everyone, including myself and anyone watching, to feel comfortable and have fun in their own way. And if that's just listening to me, then awesome. I'm glad that my voice isn't aggravating. <laughs> because, uh, you know what, power to you if you find my voice aggravating, but you still have me on in the background. That is, you know, <laughs> uh, that, that, that speaks to a higher degree of tolerance than I have. <laughs> Although I will say, like, hearing myself talk, it's one of those weird things where you listen to yourself and you're like, is that, is that me? <laughs> is that what I sound like? Because streaming, interestingly enough, right? I have headphones on, with, which already dulls what I hear from my own mouth coming out. Additionally, I'm not sure if anyone knows this, or at least I believe this is the case, um, but you will always hear your, your voice deeper than what it actually is because you're not hearing your voice coming out of your mouth per se right everyone else hears your voice as you know your vocal cords vibrate the sound comes out of your mouth goes through the medium of air and then gets to their ears and they hear you and i guess in this case it's you know mouth medium of air to the microphone where it condenses into data and does all that stuff but yourself right your vocal cords are vibrating in your body and it goes up but instead of going out and around your ears it's actually going through your skull like it's going through your bone the medium of like transference is not the air it's your your skull basically your your head um which makes it deeper because obviously your bone is denser than air um which is why like if you've ever quote unquote talked to someone underwater like if you and a friend go in a pool and you go underwater and you're talking to each other like the voice doesn't sound like obviously the voice doesn't sound right because it's all gargled because you're it's water. Water's filling your mouth. Um, but it sounds deeper because water is denser than air. Which is just a really cool thing. So whenever you hear yourself recorded, you're hearing the air medium transference. Like, going to the microphone. Whereas, when you normally hear your voice, it's the bone transference. <laughs> um, which is why it always sounds weird. And when I when I, back when I was doing YouTube and editing my uh, videos, I'd always hate. I like one of the things I hated editing videos. I hated hearing myself, <laughs> which is probably one of the main reasons why I switched to streaming, so I could just export it to YouTube afterwards. Because I was like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> which is, which is a weird thing to say. Like, I don't want to hear myself, but I want all my viewers to hear me. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a very selfish way. <laughs> Uh, of going at it but regardless um i think i've chatted for long enough about a, a, a topic that i find slightly interesting so um with that thank you wolf slash fontano manix uh mr light for dropping by um it was great talking to each and every one of you i know it feels wrong yeah it, it, it's, a, it's a weird feeling um but thanks for dropping by it was a pleasure having you all here uh, entertaining me, and hopefully I entertained you throughout this Xenoblade Chronicles 3 uh, stream. Uh, don't know when the next time I stream this game is. It will be sometime next week, most likely, but uh, I've tried to stop setting games and days in stone in case I decide that I don't want to that day for whatever reason. Now, I'm not generally a man of moods, but 
uh, the entire point of me not having a set schedule that I used to have was because I didn't want to burn myself out in case I ever didn't feel like playing a game. So I figured I should try and break the habit of me saying like, okay, I'll see you on this day playing this game. Um, even though there might be a general pattern for it in case I just don't feel like it. Um, but I am going to be, th this is a guarantee, I am going to be streaming whether tomorrow or Sunday, uh, most likely tomorrow, but always up in the air a little bit uh, for a stream. So I will be streaming some day, some other day this weekend uh, with Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue, and I'm I am pretty I am pretty sure that it will be the finale stream of that game, which will be quite interesting. Uh, at which point. Uh, the only game that I'll be playing that I haven't finished will be Xenoblade Chronicles 3, leaving me wide open for a nice um, surprise stream on uh, on next uh, Saturday, and also leaving me open for, uh, I mean, I guess I could just play Xenoblade all three stream weeks, or all three stream days next week as well. Um, and leave the Saturday, or I might, or I might have some more fun. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I guess that's the entire point of you guys dropping by later to find out what I do stream. <laughs> Who, who'd have thought? Find out what I do. Check back later. <laughs> it's almost like the future's the future. It hasn't been decided yet. Grasp hold of your fate and change it, because I would if I could. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got, you got it. Got to mention that if the word fate comes along. If you could change your Fire Emblem fate, would ya? <laughs> uh, regardless, I think I've rambled long enough. So I hope you all have a very nice night, and we'll join me next time. Bye!